Well, hello. Phil, how are you doing? Well, how are you? Great, great. Thanks for uh, thanks for inviting me to the uh, ugly sweater Christmas party. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't have an ugly sweater on. I have a Mexican soccer jersey on. That's okay. Not That's cool okay. Thing at all, but <laughs> <laughs> it's close enough. Yeah. No. Uh, no. I thought I should dress up for Kenny. Hmm. I love it. You're you're here actually before Kenny. Um, yeah. 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 How are you? Oh well, uh, yeah. I was trying to come a couple minutes early, but uh, yeah. but you, your your link wasn't working. I know, I know, I know. I, I think I really needed the time off. Like clearly it was all wrong. Like Kenny was like, what time is it? I'm like, oh my God, I got the time wrong. And then I got the, and then the Zoom link wasn't working. I'm like, oh. Well, I just knew that you guys in the East, you, you don't even know we exist over here in the West. So <laughs> like what, what time it is to you, you would, you well, don't even know it's a different time zone over here. Some, sometimes I skip over and I go straight to Hawaii. So, <laughs> um, you know, and then I know it's six hours, right? So, you know. <laughs> awesome. How, how are your holidays? Uh, it's great. I was, I was just realizing when I opened Zoom, I haven't had a Zoom call uh, for about a week. So it's been amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. No, yeah. it's, it's like life goals right there. That's, yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I couldn't, I couldn't do the family zoom calls at Christmas. I'm like, I'm on zoom 12 times a day. I can't possibly yeah. do more at, for, at Christmas. We'll do phone calls and yeah. we'll do uh we'll do uh physically distance uh, drive-bys. Yeah. 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 I hear you. I hear you. Uh, let me see. Oh, look at this. And then uh, Steve Soto is coming on. He's uh, he's um, CEO of Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, oh, awesome! Gonna jump on. How long are you yeah. on here for? A couple hours? Uh, yeah, we're we're on for two hours, I think. So okay, yeah. I can only stay for about half an hour, maybe a yeah, little bit longer. Um, yeah, it's but, awesome. Yeah. yeah, Steve, you there? Yes, I'm there here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How are you? Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Um, Steve, this is Tim. Tim, this is Steve. Uh, Who's Tim? Steve. Steve is from uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, and then Tim is from uh, Jack's Alcohol, um, out on on the West Coast. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice meeting you, Tim. Pleasure to meet you, Stephen. You're in Mexico. Yes, correct. Can't wait to come visit you. <laughs> exactly. I can't wait to visit you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a little nicer there right now than it is here, so I'm sure. Where, where in the West are you? I'm in Vancouver, so oh, it's not okay. too bad, but it's uh, it's raining and about three degrees today. Uh, and what what is Jax? Jax yeah. is a, we're a retail of beer, wine, and spirits, so we're a, a, we have 13 retail stores uh, selling uh, uh, alcohol, beer, wine, and spirits. Uh, I, I used to work for Guinness. Oh, yeah? And I was in Vancouver for some months just because we're implementing something okay but so i tried a lot of alcohol this is like 30 years ago <laughs> okay okay yeah. yeah we might have met i'm trying to think of uh i've been around for about 25 years so i might not have met you if it was 30 years ago yeah uh, yeah uh one one of the ex guinness people who is now in 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 your area is uh paul uh Anyway, I'll look at LinkedIn. I'll remember. Sure. <laughs> I, think, I think one of my favorite memories is when Steve was working at uh, Guinness here in Toronto. He'd get me to come over and, and we'd try things in the, uh, in the bar in the back. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and it is the best. <laughs> it is the best, oh, right? Yeah. You, you learn things and then you can't remember quite how you get home. And then uh, <laughs> yeah. you realize yeah. after that... Uh, exactly such a good idea to go visit steve so many times so. <laughs> so so duma tries to sign on right away and i guess has no luck eh yeah yeah i was five minutes early i'm like i'm oh, gonna be there God. you know hang out with kenny early and uh and i i just thought you guys didn't want me and you sent me a, the wrong <laughs> link you're like they're all somewhere else and i think <laughs> phil did that to everybody in general i think phil thought you know ah it's a good idea. didn't thought ah fuck it you know what that's not that good an idea i'll just set a different time for everybody <laughs> i oh, could have no, Kenny... the vacation like the link i i was as surprised as anybody i i started to log on and i'm like wait this link doesn't work how did wait i a... make this link right like where did it go right like so i had to make a new one and then oh, i just hopped off a zoom call with mark 
since yeah. six this morning. So I was on four hours with Mark, right? And wow. we're going through and he goes, you're on today. I said, no, it's tomorrow. And I said, oh, you're right. It's the 30. And then I looked at that. He goes, 11. I said, no, 10. That's why I texted you. Hey, Stephen, how are you, man? Hey, how are you? Good, good. So I, you had your times all screwed up. I thought, what? what's he doing? I like I did. I screwed okay. it all up. So literally, I Phil and I already went it, went through this, Kenny. We realized that in the East, they don't even know we exist. They don't even know there's a different. They don't time care about us. So it doesn't, it like, doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> what we were supposed to look at was one o'clock Eastern, Hawaii, right? So Hawaii yeah. is six hours away. That's what I knew. So all he knew was eleven at one o'clock Eastern time. Really, who gives a shit what anybody else has got to do? Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. the time we're going with. Yeah. So so is that a West Coast thing though? So do you just see the incorrect time and you automatically assume like Eastern no? It, time zone the code calendar code? said ten. You okay. said in your email portion, I "Hey, see. come join us, eleven PST ah, okay, okay. or one EST." Okay, okay. Yeah. And I of course don't read emails. I just clicked on accept, which is what Tim did. Yeah. And then we're looking. I get well. Yeah. I guess Tim tried to sign on and the link's not working. Yeah. 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 yeah man okay let's can i hop off for two seconds just grab a coffee i yeah, just go. have not coffee. my last coffee was at six Goodbye. and i ain't go. gonna find okay, go, go 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 yeah. so are you are you guys still working like how's how's retail going over christmas <laughs> really you want to ask that question <laughs> I'm, I'm having a horrible time <laughs> so for to answer your question for us uh they they locked us down yeah. Uh, so, Tim, just to let you know, we got 10 stores of Bed Bath in Mexico. Okay. Uh, as of this morning, eight are closed. Uh, two are open, like restricted hours. Wow. Uh, so, I just did, uh, like this morning, I just did an equivalent. This is not exactly the same of furlough. It's horrible. It's just horrible. That's terrible. It's terrible. That's so, that's so terrible. It's, oh, it's, really, it's really tough yeah. time, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh. That's really crazy. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, this co this vaccine thing isn't going to come fast enough. Like we were, you know, we're locking down here too. I think they're going to announce new restrictions today for businesses. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know what it means. It's uh, it's bad. It's bad. But the thing is, so. Here, I think the weird thing is, is what we're starting to realize from the data, or at least I think I'm realizing from the data, I don't know if the government is or not, but it doesn't seem like you're picking it up from businesses. Like it seems to be personal gatherings and like social gatherings are the yes. ones that they need to show. And churches, right? Like churches seem to- Correct. Faith conquers coronavirus, which- Yeah, we lost Tim, eh? Just to let you know. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. I know. He'll be okay. back. No, but the thing is, um, it, it's like here, there's just no government assistance. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Eh? Like, hold on. Let me put you in mute. I'm getting a call. Yeah. So if you guys are tuning in, um, we are, we're just hanging out. This is our holiday hangout um we we had uh, tim dumas on from Jax, who's coming back and then uh steven who is on but then he's uh, walked away kenny's gone out to get a coffee um but uh because you guys can't see what i see so um you'll you'll uh, i'll kind of constantly update um listeners to what's going on and uh, tim's back welcome back hey phil yeah no worries no worries uh steve put us on mute he's he's picked up a, a retail call for a second that's all good. Sorry, sorry. That's all good. It's all, all good. Yeah. This was supposed to be an in and out type of thing anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally. I, I, I literally for, <laughs> for a moment I was by myself. Um, so I was just updating listeners <laughs> because I feel like this is going to be weird for them because they can't see any of the things that we can see. Um, so I feel like I'm just going to keep updating them on on what's happening, right? So as people like come flow in and out, I, I think we'll have to do some of that, or they won't know what's going on. Um, Steve, okay. you, you were saying about um, like this furlough that you got to do. Yeah. So in Mexico, so the big difference is there's there's no government assistance yeah. uh, on um, on COVID. Uh, like that's the main difference. I mean, the, the last time we spoke. So right. every time they lock down, uh, it's the businesses have to make the decision. Now, 
Um, but most of the the businesses are doing what we're doing, right? You you for like the equivalent of for low, um, which is you, you you reduce people's salary for a short period of time. Yeah. You either so do that or you employed but paying them less. Yes. Well, I guess it's better um, than being unemployed and not yeah, having correct anything. Yes. I mean, really, right? But the, the amazing thing, and Phil, I haven't updated you, is uh, Best Buy Mexico, who I used to work for, Best Buy Mexico um, uh, announced they, they're getting out of Mexico. So really? Really? They clo- they're closing 46 stores. I hadn't heard that yet. Yeah, they're out, wow. which is amazing because in Canada and the U.S., uh, anything Best Buy is positive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, doing like, well. who, else, who would you buy from in Mexico then? Like who? That's would, uh... where that, that that's where that's where all the uh, um, kind of talk right now. Like who would replace Best Buy, and yeah. whoever can replace Best Buy would take that share of the business. Is it is that the Beyond part of Bed Bath and Beyond? It may have to be. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> well, you can have a relationship with one guy. You pick like Samsung, for example. And you just no, say, no, no. you know, we, you're not going to make a ton of money, but you say TVs and No, no. Audio. What we did was they have home products, yeah. uh, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, microwave oven is, right. is a good yeah. example. So we're buying, we're buying that, uh, like, wholesale from Best Buy. Wow. Like, Bed Bath is buying from Best Buy, no? That makes uh, sense. Exactly, as you said, Samsung. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would do. You pick a brand or two and just kind of, yeah. Yeah, totally but it's that, it's right? it's amazing. It's market. amazing um, on how many similar no in in U.S. and Canada. Huh. Like there are many companies just that are just declaring closure, like bankruptcy, yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So uh, yeah. you need to be in the booze business. How right, how is the wine and beer, baby? Wine How's and the beer. booze business? Uh, it's okay. Um, oh, but you, you know what? You know what's interesting though, Kenny is is what we found is that. Um, that Christmas didn't quite have the same spike as it normally did, obviously. I've been drinking uh, since COVID. March. How much more spike do you want? <laughs> we've been drinking for 10 months straight like we've never drank before. And you yeah. wanted Christmas? These are greedy. <laughs> Just looking at the numbers. Just look at the numbers. It had to be better than last year. Oh, yeah. It was it was better than last year, but we didn't see the same um, same rise over last year. But it wasn't, it wasn't much better than last year. It yeah, was, but, uh, but over, over the... Let's say even over the last three months. Yeah, it's probably been a, a solid three months mm-hmm. relative to last year, right? I mean, you got to do. You have to look at it that way. Where last year, I mean, seriously, see, Daniel, we weren't drinking like literally since March. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm assuming it's just it's just level. And plus, uh, who's allowed over? Right. You yeah. You can't have it, anybody in your house. We your know kids aren't going to drink. Yeah, oh, there was a sure. big difference in basket, right? Oh, where I bet people come if if last year. A dozen, maybe twenty people are coming to their house for Christmas dinner, right? And so they're they might they might buy, you know, a few hundred. Buddy, we have fifteen to twenty people right? every year. Yeah, so yeah. Five. So you, we have five. You're buying half a dozen bottles of wine. You're buying some spirits. You're buying right. you know a case of beer, right? As opposed to this year, it's just the people in your house. So exactly, you might buy something a little nicer, but uh, you're not buying not as much though, right? You're right. I mean, so I bought if I bought twelve bottles of wine last Christmas, uh, this year I think I literally I think I bought three. Yeah. But do you sell, around. Tim, do you sell a lot to on-premise? No, uh, only to okay. direct-to-consumer. Got it's it. Kind of, it's okay. prov- our rules are um, interesting here. Ah, uh, the, the BCLDB, no? Right, yeah. Yes. So it's only BCLDB that can go there. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yes. I remember now. Yeah. yeah. It's Good. Interesting, too, I guess, the consumer behavior, right? Because you, the idea of drinking by yourself at home or you know like a couple drinking you you might do that less right but but now over the holidays do you do you do you even do you drink more or do you, do you kind of hold the same line you know like so the it, de- it depends on the line, day right? that's yeah any given sunday baby any given sunday yeah. right like yeah. i think it's really more the first part phil you guys weren't allowed to go, have people around we're not allowed to have people come. Like, I mean, there's, there's people ratting on people. If they see, you know, the Duma house has got, you know, per, you know there's, there's a crew in that house is on a good day anyway. But if they see extra bodies, yeah, you, know, you could have neighbors ratting you out, right? So basically you're, I mean, like in our house, we typically have 15, 16 people Christmas, yeah. mm-hmm. five. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 
Yeah. So how much more? I mean, what am I going to? I'm not buying the same amount of wine because it's just not enough. Absolutely. Because it's not enough of us drinking it. That's it. Yeah. I never thought of that, Timmy. I, I mean, outside of the, luckily for you guys, I mean, I, it's again without COVID, you would have had the same uh, December you had last year. Yeah. With COVID, you just uh, stretched it out over a longer period of time, I guess. Yeah, I, I think people's habits didn't change remarkably a lot over no. Christmas. I think it was just uh, how many people were allowed in our houses. That they still of... changed a little bit. I still think people had in their heads that it's Christmas. I need to have more Baileys in my house, right? And e- even though there aren't people coming over. Um, they still want it just in case. They still want it. Yeah. The average household doesn't stock Baileys in their um, yep. in their fridge. But at Christmas, most do, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, because we, we did the same. We went and bought, bought some Baileys last week, too. And again, we usually have it because there's a few of uh, Amelia's friends when they come over. Again, that bottle, I bet you, does not get cracked until January now because you know why? There's, there's nobody coming over. Right. Like, seriously. Yeah. It's true, huh? Even the ones I gave away as gifts this year, I bought a lot less. <laughs> bought a lot less, um, you know, than I would normally give away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So maybe the boost business isn't the one you want to be in. <laughs> yeah. We need to find something else, Kenny. That's why that's Jeez. what Tim is trying to tell you since the beginning. Wow, yeah. but you don't listen in, Kenny. No, I don't listen well on a good day there, Stephen. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah, it's because I never thought about I kept forgetting that that we just had so many freaking party restrictions and people yeah. that were allowed to have around. Yeah. I mean it, it it was it was it was still very, very solid. I'm not not gonna sure complain, but we didn't have the same uh, yeah. same like lift as yeah, before. I haven't drank uh, Guinness beer, the beer, for how many years now? Maybe fifteen years. And wow. then two days, yeah, two, two days ago, I I bought the the one in can, like the one feel familiar with that one. I yeah, bought yeah, the one, yeah. like I found it in in uh, uh, in Mexico, and I did the equivalent of Instacart. Uh, and then you know they they ship it, and then I'm you know so just kind of like enjoying beer. Uh, but by yourself, not not like on premise. You're out there you right. know, with friends. It's just your home and just like fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> that's how bad it's yeah. gotten in Mexico, apparently. Uh, yeah. yeah, oh, that's awesome. Wow. The, the, there might be a new invention of a holiday. We we might need like a February fuck this sort of. There might be a new alcoholic, you know, holiday. Somehow yeah. you just stand out on your porch and drink it with all your neighbors. Yeah. Porches or something or on the sidewalk or. Well, in our country, that might come when all the, all the funding dries up and people realize that, holy shit, we're in trouble. Yeah. That um, might happen. You know, right. that might be first, first half summer in the second quarter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, geez. Yeah. Well, I you know, think not. about it. Look, he, 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 well, you're drinking know. now. So what? <laughs> exactly. no, no, no more freaking. I have enough, man. <laughs> well, but the thing is, you look at the difference between our countries, right? Like, because Mexico is doing a lot differently, they're not um, funding the same levels. Like, we, we, we were into this mess, I think, for half a trillion of extra yeah. spend yeah. in our country. Yeah. And the States has got to be close to three, four trillion dollars, maybe yeah. five of extra spend. I mean, yeah. that's the only thing that's fueling us up here is that you inject a half a trillion dollars into people's hands and the economy can still float. Yes. But sooner or later, you know, the, you know, when the band plays, it was like, right you know, the old Italian saying, you know, someone's got to pay for the band. eh? Yeah. Yes. And... The band can play all night. That's awesome. But at the end of the night, someone's got to pay for the band. Yeah. So Correct. sooner or later, someone's going to pay for this one. This, and it's this a big band. <laughs> okay. Okay. Phil, let's talk about something positive, man. I know. <laughs> I know. It's all good. Um, what is okay? So I have, I have a fun one. No, this is a personal one, but uh, we've we've decided in our household. So uh, the moment quarantine is over, so vaccines are in place, it's safe to do things again. What's the first place you go to travel? Mexico. Are you saying that because Steve's on the call? No, we're going because... to Puerto. We're going to Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm seriously, going... I, I I I would go right now. Okay. Yeah. If I didn't, if I wasn't worried about people, you know, I, I, the quarantine part, I don't give a shit about. I'm worried about, about what Mexico's doing um, in terms of COVID. But I know most of Mexico's yeah. problems are probably Mexico City. It's not necessarily yeah. everywhere else. Yeah. But where, where is it that there. you wanted to go? Where, where in we Mexico? go to Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta. Okay. So, I like yeah. it. So, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. 
I mean, but in Mexico, in general, like we're screwed here. I know. <laughs> right now. Like our number of cases is, is crazy. Yeah. Our numbers of death. Is it but everywhere though? Or is it just said, in yeah. sort of Mexico City? Or is it like everywhere? Everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. Mexico everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. So, uh, but to answer your question, <laughs> I go to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get the hell out. Yeah. I want to go home, man. Oh, I want sun. I, I don't even mind being quarantined in, in, <laughs> at home there. Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah. That's funny. That's no, because logic. The we don't mind being quarantined I, down there. No, because w- the other difference <clears throat> is in, in, in Canada or normally in Canada, like, you, you, you know, people live in houses Yep. Uh, and you can go out to the park and it's okay, right? Yeah. In Mexico City, no, you don't go to the park. I mean, that's crazy, right? So we, yeah. we, when, I, when uh, myself and Lucero and, and the, the baby were here, we're literally inside. Uh, the only oh. outside we get is the roof, yeah, yeah. like the right. roof garden or the terrace. But no, we, we, we haven't been out um, for a while. So why wouldn't you even go out to the um, um, park, for example? There's there's really no safe park, right, in the city. Like, mean safe as in as in uh, FAF and stuff like that, right? Spe- and then and then especially now. Yeah, um, yeah. I never think of the, that that part of it. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, okay, well, you're outdoors. There's not as many people, but I keep, yeah, you got other elements that could, uh, yeah, uh, screw up the yeah. park idea. Correct. Because so again, Correct. remember it's Canada. So, I mean, I, I'm assuming that happens here too, but that is not the number one. The number one fear be odd. There's too many people in the park. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Not, I'm going to get, you know, clubbed in the head with a two by six. That's not. Correct. Right. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Like before, let's say before mm-hmm. the second wave, we call it here the second wave, which is mid December before the, the uh, lockdown, the second lockdown, I would go to the store, like Bad Bad store for work. Yeah. You know, you know, with all the mask and everything and just driving to work, it's, it's different. You know, you have to be very careful because some people take advantage of the situation. Uh, you know, they, they know they know it's not normal. So, you know, some people will stop you, you know. And also, I mean, these these people, you know, they're, they're struggling financially. Yeah, but they're desperate, too. Right. I mean, people are very you know, there's always opportunists. I get it. Yeah. But there's also yeah. just a lot of people that, you know, just may want to feed a family. Yeah. Yeah. But on a positive side, Phil, I go to Canada. Tim, I don't know where you want to go. Uh, you know what? I think I just have to go to Disneyland with the kids. Kids yeah. got to get out, got to do something fun. Yeah. It's warm. I, I don't think California has opened yet, but uh, we were talking about that the other day. We were like, <clears> you know, it's been over a year. We haven't even we haven't gone anywhere. anywhere. Not that we go on a big trip every year, but haven't gone anywhere. So yeah, if I could go anywhere a day one, go to Disneyland. The one thing I, I did say to my wife the other day is we were looking at our passports because we haven't looked at them for a year, right? Yeah. And a couple of them, I think, I th- anyway, we're looking at ones we have to um, we have to uh, uh, renew, renew, right? And I said, we better renew those now because the minute the borders open, yeah. everybody will be going to renew. You'll never get a passport, right? Mm-hmm. If yes. you go now, there'll be no lines. There's no line. Yeah, there's no one. No one's trying to do it now. So check your passport. If it's due this year, do it now. I'm good till 2025. I had a 10 year one. So. I, I, have, I have two of them in our family. We have a family of five and we're the same. We've got a couple of them due. Uh, I, I've been driving on an expired driver's license for a year now. <laughs> I, I have because, because the, you know, the ministry, the provincial ministry is closed, right? So they've said, we've suspended everything. Don't, don't bother. Um, you know, like I, I had eyesight changes, um, I had laser eye surgery. So this was my, you know, kind of major refresh. So I, I have to submit paperwork to say, I don't need glasses anymore. And so I can't do that online even, um, you know, so. Wow. So, yeah. I think here we can do it online. I think Kenny, I think you do it online and yeah. they ship it to you. Yeah. So I so have I've no tried idea. And, and no, and you know, so I, you know. anyway, my, my trip would be the UK. So my kids are a little bit older. Um, I've always wanted to take them. I've been, I've, I've tried to go a couple of times. The first time I got outvoted, we went to Hawaii, which wasn't terrible at all. Um, you know, and so uh, I, I'm, you know, my first trip will be the UK, maybe London and Paris, if we can figure out how to do it. So um, wow. we are, those would be our trips. So 
I, w- I was watching, uh, you know, those documentaries, uh, and then they said like right after the COVID <laughs> thing, like the biggest one of the biggest spike will be travel. Yeah, oh, 100%. hundred percent. We're that's all we're waiting for. Yeah. If any of the airlines are still about, around, I just want. Well, there'll be a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, the planes are still maintained. That's that's the, the worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> planes <laughs> sitting down. Planes on the ground are no good. Planes need to be. Yeah. They need to run. They need to be moving. Yeah, yeah, they need to, the, the parts don't like being still. Yeah, yeah. But I think you're right, Stephen. I think it, as soon as this opens up, yes. I think it's going to be just a shit show at the airports. Like we are oh, yeah. all dying to get out. Yeah, correct. I'm still not understanding Phil's logic. I mean, I'm thinking, I can, all I hear right now is rain on the roof and outside. I'm thinking, you want to go to London? Like seriously? Yeah. yeah. You but, want, but, this is the shit that we would be leaving to go back but, to. But it's different, right? Because I, I like for me, it's getting the kids to that cultural experience. That's true. Um, and it's something we've wanted to do for a long time, right? So, um, you know, when COVID like Paris. Goes down, it's, it's kind of that moment you go, well, shit, right? Like, if we stay like this, maybe we never travel again. Maybe they, my kids never get to see some cool places, right? Um, it's not that we don't want to go somewhere sunny and just get like beach time. They're 100% that is. I can tell the south of Spain. You know, yeah. Like if you do like Seville and yeah. Cordoba and Granada, like that whole yeah, yeah, coast yeah. of Seoul is like Yeah, then I get some awesome. culture and I get beach. There's right? tons so, of culture. Yeah, yeah. And it's warm. Yeah. In summer's actually not warm, but it's the, past warm. But the, the bright side is if we go to a beach in Dover or something, my kids will fit in just fine. We'll be white and pink <laughs> and sing and sign. So uh, <laughs> it'll just be like everybody else. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll we'll fit right in. So <laughs> Awesome. Oh, man. Awesome. Oh, man. Oh, well. Well, what's the plan, Phil and Kenny? You guys are going to do more podcasts next year? Yeah. We're in I think so. We've been three and a half years or just over three, three and a yeah. quarter years doing this. And we haven't stopped yet. Like, we haven't even missed a week. We've only missed, nope. I think, like one week. Yeah. And on the one week we missed, I think we already had, like, um, a podcast in the can yeah. that we used. So, I think we've – I don't think we've missed – I don't think I've been this consistent episodes. on anything I've done. Yeah, 162 episodes. We uh, the we missed one. Uh, we we missed one where we didn't have a makeup, but otherwise we had one with a makeup, and then okay. we we skipped uh, last year. We skipped a week in between Christmas and New Year. That was it. Um, otherwise, oh. we we haven't missed uh, we haven't missed a beat. It's it's been really really fun. Like it's been uh, yeah, you know. We've had some some like great guests. Like you guys were amazing on this show, and we've had lots of guests, and it's just a lot of good guests, fun, you know. But you got people already lined up. Let's say for January. No, uh, we're not that prepared, really. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of week to week. Like, I mean, yeah, geez, Stephen, like, what do you want us to do? Have a calendar? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The most organized would be three weeks out, right? Like, you know, we're not lying to anybody on this show. I'm not even convinced that's organized as prepared, much as. Yeah, you you don't you you guys would all go bullshit. There's no exactly. way you guys are prepared. We're not really that prepared. And and for uh, three weeks out, it's because people finally answered, and they all answered at the yeah. same time. It wasn't because it was planned. Yeah, it's because they just came at us at the same time, and, just, and they just have to stack them. Yeah. yeah, but we're not we're not that we're not that organized. Shit. Yeah. yeah. I think I think last week was was it Linda last week or Chris was last week. Linda was the week before. Chris was last week. Yeah, Linda. Yeah, like like I think week. we, I think Linda, we talked to the day before. Linda, we talked to the day of. Day of, okay, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. on a text, even I think, right, or an email, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. we said, "Well, why don't you just come on tonight?" Yeah. So Lin- Linda Webb is like our number one fan. She she was probably the first fan we had, and then she stayed with you us. You have other fans too time. now. We we do. We have more. Oh, than okay. Fans. Well, we know for sure we have one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know for sure we have. Fans. Yeah. We know we have Linda. Yeah, 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 we okay. know our families don't yeah. listen. <laughs> but yeah yeah so and so she was like uh, you know we, we said you should come back on she goes sure when and we're like we have nobody tonight, uh, tonight? <laughs> come on back and she's like uh, no actually okay oh, yeah, yeah go ahead go ahead i forgot to tell you guys yeah um i was having a meeting with a digital marketing agency yeah ba- based in argentina buenos aires oh yeah okay and then and then he said, uh, I'm sure he did his, his search and stuff like that. Then he said, oh, yeah, by the way, I listened to your uh, podcast. That's awesome. With, uh, with, with your podcast. That's awesome. 
And then he, went, he then he actually told me the detail, and I said, "Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually good. It's very, very interesting." So he he actually listens to your podcast. Well, that's from me. Buenos Aires, worldwide, that's baby, me. worldwide. Yeah. yeah. Baraco, I think, is the name of the company. Baraco, B A B A R A. Yeah, like very good, very good company. Okay. What do they make? Uh, huh? What They're do they do? PR. PR, you said. No, di- digital, digital, digital marketing. Okay. Baraco. They do all the, uh, I don't even understand it, like, like very e-commerce thing. Okay. You know, they, they do some Google thing and whatever, yeah. whatever. All the search online and all that stuff. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, do the analysis, et cetera. Yeah. 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 yeah interesting. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's awesome. Yeah. It's, it's been, uh, it's been really fun. So, oh, I got a note as well from Fats Diamini who does the, uh, pet brands in south africa south africa so he said to say hello he said it's um it's too late in south africa for him to join um okay. but uh but um he loves the show too so he says he, he had a cool story though his story was pretty yeah. neat I, I enjoyed him too yeah uh, yeah so he uh so he said happy new year to you and your families uh toasting for a happier healthier fairer yeah. world in 2021 so yeah that'd be nice too it was cool yeah it was cool Timmy, you know what you should do? I wonder if, would you come on and talk about um, your speaking and those, um, not so much the motivational, more the, um, uh, what's the group called? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. I'll about come on that, about how, about how, so Tim's involved with the McKay group. It's, you know, it's like tech mm-hmm. and all those ones, Phil, where yep. it's more about where they help each I, I don't know. I think that'd be kind of interesting too, because I think there's a lot of small companies. Like I got Dom, like I didn't get Dom to do. Dom asked me one time, he said, um, I've got an opportunity to, to go to tech, like this TEC, right? Or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, what do you think? And at that time I didn't know McKay. And I, I said, listen, I know there's a whole bunch of things out there, but I said, anytime you can sit with eight to 10 people um, of similar size businesses, et cetera. I mean, how do you lose? I mean, you're what is learn McKay? something what is mckay so yeah it's what a, is this thing it, so it's it's a peer group uh peer group forum so yeah. what what we'll do is so i chair a group we bring um different my groups and executive groups so i have c-suite vice presidents of all different departments of all different types of companies and we will meet um uh about we meet uh seven uh, we meet eight, eight times a year so approximately every six weeks and uh, we basically work as an advisory board for each other. So wow. in, in my group, for example, there's there's all types of different businesses. There's insurance. There's someone in the funeral business. There's yeah. someone in the um, uh, fresh uh, fresh produce business. There's a, a charity. There's two in construction development. There's tech. Um, so there's there's all different types. And I would argue that anybody who's in a, a, in a, in a VP, C-suite and above CEO uh, owner level of any company, I would say they're imperative because we too often get stuck in doing our own thing in our business, in our own industry. And we don't look outside. I can't tell you how many great ideas I've got from the person in tech or the person in the funeral business or other businesses that right. say, Tim, why don't you do HR like this? Why don't you do marketing like this? And oh, wow. I've just never thought of doing it like a, like a tech company does or like a construction company does, yeah. but I should at least, maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong for me, but I need, I should at least think about that. Right. Yeah. So highly imperative. I, I, I tell everyone who will listen, you have to be in a group such as this, whether it's McKay or not, you need to be in a group like this. If you're taking your company and your yourself personally, to the next level. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Idea. Can you invite me on your next one? Yeah, Stephen, let's uh, let's do a look um, at that. Yeah, there you go. No, I, I'm yeah. really interested, eh? Because it's uh, really Kenny. I'm not giving you any commission, though. Oh, I was gonna. I was, that was my segue. <laughs> like that was um, I had, that was lined up perfectly. And you just fucking crushed that. That was very. That um, was not very nice of you, young man. It's Christmas. <laughs> Christmas season, baby. A happy New Year. What the hell was that? Yeah, yeah. that was like a screw you. <laughs> um yeah steven let's um let's set up a call uh yeah, offline yeah. and i'll tell you about it and we can um that would be yeah uh, uh, would i be know tons of people doing it steven for the reasons that you're probably thinking now is that what it does honestly you, you know it's you, you get into a position that what do you see you only see what you see yes correct. right and you don't see anything else and it's hard to grow it's hard to learn 
Yeah. If, if you, well, you know, it's like going to university or anything. That's why I tell people, you know, I've got a lot of friends, well, university is a waste. And I always tell them it's not a waste. You know what university is? It's a great way to meet a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And it's a great way yeah. to see the world in different sets of eyes. That's why you do education, right? It's, you're trying to expand and grow. I love the idea, Timmy. I think it's, I know Dom really enjoys tech. I think he gets a lot Good. out of it. I think he just finds it to be, you know, there's so many similarities, no matter what the business, if the business are so dissimilar, people are people. Yeah. And how yes. you manage people and the problems you have and some of the, the ceilings that you're going to hit are very similar in many exactly. industries. So when I walked into my first meeting, um, I went in and sat in on a meeting before I started chairing a group. And I sat in a meeting with um, some some bigger, uh, some, some big companies, some companies you'd all know. And what I realized was they have the same darn problems that I have in a medium sized company, um, you know, you want to have, you want to be with people that are in similar size companies for similar issues, but yeah. people, like you say, Kenny, people are people, you know, when I worked at a, you know, a big um, multinational firm versus a, you know, a medium sized company like I do now, the issues are all the same, just on a different scale. Right. I agree. Well, because the fundamentals and change people are people. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right. So Stephen, yeah. I'll send you an email. Let's uh, maybe we'll set up a zoom call. Uh, yeah, uh, next week, and I can kind of I can give you some of the info. Set the set the set up. Yeah. No, thank you. Hey guys, I gotta go. Okay. I gotta hey, go. Thanks for jumping on, buddy. Go do your thing. My, you my fail to my beyond piece. Yes, beyond it is. <laughs> I gotta go do the beyond. I like that one. Beyond baby. Yeah. I love it. I love All right. It. See you guys. Happy New, Happy New Year, buddy. Happy New Year. Nice thank you. Meeting you, Tim. All right. Great meeting you too, Stephen. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Ciao. Um, yeah, so if, if you ever want to do a podcast on that, Kenny, Phil, happy to do it. <laughs> Look, that's my that's my wife, Kathy, and that's Rachel. I don't think, you know, uh, three years hey. we've been doing this, I've never seen Kathy. I have really? no idea what a Kathy looks like. How are you? Come in, come in, say hi. <laughs> You're photobombing. Rachel, okay. woman, she just woke up. It's uh, it's right around teenager wake-up time at, at one uh, It's like, it's one it's all good what time is there 1 30 yeah it's like, I mean, um, we talk about kathy good. enough on the show that once yeah. in a while she should just say hi and leave like, yeah. even amelia doesn't do that so that's kenny and then that's tim hi hi are you good and this is sophie she Aww. makes her appearances she barks on the show every now and then every once in a while yeah we do right. hear her yeah um yeah. so uh kenny at uh, kenny and phil i got to uh i got to go to swimming lessons at the top okay. of the hour here so sounds good buddy. yeah you know what they make you do in swimming lessons now because the teacher isn't allowed to go in the water with your kids yeah. and my eight-year-old daughter she can swim fine she can swim in the deep end yeah. but i have to be in the pool with her um just in case something happened because right, 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 the right. teacher yeah, can't yeah, be yeah, in the yeah, pool yeah. with her so mm-hmm. but here's the thing it's an hour-long session where i got to be swimming laps with her Oh, you're getting in shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't keep up with the eight year old. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I said to her, I go, if something goes wrong with me. Can you save me? Yeah, she's yeah. like, you're too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> That's water. It's easier. Tell yeah. her that. Yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. do, do you need to wear a pool noodle or anything? Like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I just asked things? where they are. I said, where are the life jackets? Just water, wings. water wings. <laughs> water wings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so that's good, but um, but yeah, hey Kenny, I could talk about um, peer. I would love you to come on. Forever. I think it'd be really cool because yeah, I think there's a lot be... of people that could benefit from those type of things, especially the yeah. companies that we talk to. So I just thought of that. But, when but was... We talk about that a lot, right? Like I think I think whether it's that totally. level or the level down where you've got marketing directors who run like groups by themselves, for example, absolutely, they need the support, right? Like you know, like the problems aren't you know. They're not yeah. that different, you know. Really yeah. Different the cool thing about this is normally you'd have a marketing group and an HR group and you have the HR people all get together, right? But the great thing about this is when you have people from other specialties, mm-hmm. that's when you really start thinking outside the box. Because mm-hmm. when you get all these HR people in the, in the you know, HR um, human resources mm-hmm. group, right, where uh, they just start talking about human resources issues, and, and which is great. Yeah. But, right. um, but you lose something when you're not seeing, talking to the finance guy, because right. when I'm in operations yeah. and I get to see more of the perspective from the finance person, then that's, that's really, really valuable. Right. Especially from right. someone from another company. Yeah. Yeah. And the huge value too, is that since we're, we act as each other's advisory board and we have no biases 
towards each other. When I work with my CFO at, at my company or a partner at my company, we all have little biases towards uh, where we want the company to go. But with these people, they just want me to be as successful as I possibly can be and vice versa to them. That's yeah. my, oh, I have zero yeah. bias outside yeah. of that. Right. Yeah. And that's the real, that's the amazing value, right? That's awesome. That yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Anyway, I, think it's worth, I think it's worth, I think it's worth a show. I mean, I think it'd be interesting and I do, I think some stuff like that is just, I mean, again, it, it's, I think you, what you've probably learned to me over the years, it's nice to have other people that you can rattle things off on. Yeah. Totally. And I mean, that's what I got with you, Kenny. Like how long ago was it two? We met just after Christmas. It was like February. Was it two years ago or three years ago? No shit. It's not that long, buddy. I think I, uh, it would have been it was at least two years it's ago. Two years ago, coming up, coming, two years up, ago in coming March. up February. Yeah. But right. that's, February. What, that's what you've been so great at. Right. And Kenny, you know, um, I had to send him a nice Christmas present because he takes my calls. Right. And I'm like, Hey, Kenny, I, I have this problem. I need your help. Right. And so I and, do all that in the commission with the Steven just went to shit like within milliseconds. <laughs> all right. I gave you a nice Christmas gift. What more do you want? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just, you know, I get all these nice words and immediately within milliseconds, my commission went to shit. That's, no, that's no, all I, I heard. It needs to be the other way around. So I, I think what we need to do is <laughs> lean on the beyond part and figure yeah. out what he's getting, you know, cause you know, a couple of Samsung products redirected into Canada wouldn't be such a big deal. You know, those yeah. Are nice gifts for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, cool. so that could be okay. But, but no, that's uh, yeah. But it was, it was two years ago, Kenny. That yeah, uh, yeah. That I never we met, that. which right. was um, which it seems was, like I've uh, known you way longer than that too. I know. It seems, uh, it seems forever. Yeah, yeah. I guess it was probably a year ago. I was on the show. It was at least a year, maybe longer. Uh, no. Post COVID, right? No, no. It was pre COVID. No. Was it pre COVID? No, oh, oh. Peter came on post. Peter came on post. Oh, yeah. Peter. Months. So it was pre-COVID, so wow. it was. Uh, was it that yeah. long, really? Well, it was at least nine months because it was before COVID. I'm pretty sure. No, you're. This, I think. I think you're. you're I think right. it was the summer of 2019. That's my guess. Let me see if I'm. That sounds way too long. Really? Crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So that that would be 18 months ago. Wow. Yeah. Let's see. Anyway, but yeah. Oh, the other thing, uh, Kenny and Phil, I'll send you this later. Um, I'm doing a um, I'm doing a webinar on January 14th in the morning with okay. a guy out of Florida uh, from the Dream Leadership Institute. You know, I'm into okay. that the yeah. Dream session stuff. Yeah. So um, and Dream goal setting. So I'll send you the uh, the webinar link uh, later today when I get back. Okay. Send me the link. That's something that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, send it to your uh, um, send calendar. It to you calendar think. dependent. Find that value. Yeah. So it's I think it's eight. 13 months ago so 13 14 months so august 13th 2019 jesus yeah right. that's almost a year and a half ago yeah that's like so, almost 16 months ago yeah, yeah crazy yeah wow there you go it doesn't actually so, feel like that long actually that's no that's the weird was, part. Uh, yeah i have a new microphone since then though kenny i think it's the same as yours look they uh the See, real look at deal. you eh yeah it's all yeah. it takes man one I, I just copied phil uh, i didn't have it before we're yeah. making we're making the world sound better one yeah. person at a time. One one day yeah. at a time. Yeah. Uh, okay. I got it. If you okay. hear of any uh, any grown man drowning in Tawasin, uh, come help. <laughs> Sounds good. Listen, okay. send Take us care, a guys. picture of you in the water wings. I want to see the water wings <laughs> yes. too. Yes. I will definitely not be doing that. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. I'd be Ciao. happy to put that picture up. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Uh, happy New Year. Ciao, man. Oh, man. It's awesome. Uh, so I think what's probably happened, young man, is is especially on the west coasters they're probably all waiting until 11 it's okay we, we, we only got like right? 13 minutes and then they'll be on oh right. that's fine i mean or whatever right? i mean or, or people are just doing what people do i mean yeah yeah, yeah yeah i uh you know what i i look back at this year and i think holy shit we had like this i thought timmy was on last year that's how that's how that's yeah. i i forget how many that's like 60, 65, 70 episodes ago, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know it's what I mean? Like, to, I, I started wow. to go back because I realized that before all our episodes just had the this Commerce Life icon in it, like the little yeah. the shaman cart logo. And I started to populate people's pictures in them, um, you know, because it makes Plus, sense to do that. Makes more sense. Um, so I've gone backwards, but, but like I, I realized how many episodes we have right like i only made it to like 100 and episode 136 like working backwards um because it you know every time i load right episode, i try and do a couple of these right and, you know so that's right, how right, I right. Those, but 
Wow. Yeah. No, I, I sometimes forget how long we've been doing this too. Like it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's been that long, but that's, yeah. that's like even Timmy to be on that. That's a long time ago. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, we did. Uh, I sent you that picture, but we did get this huge spike of like, what was that about? I don't know. Uh, honestly, Maybe it's holidays, it's right? People are home. Yeah, I think so. And right. then we, we've kept up the pace. So like last month, uh, last week, it was like 400. This week's been another 400. Seriously? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those are more like month numbers. Yeah. So it's it's kind of crazy. It's, uh, you know. You know what, though? But I, and honestly, we've, it, it's, I, I really still think of being, it's been, a, it's been just a, a good year for guests. Like yeah. we've had a lot of good guests on, which has been, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I think we have anyway. Like I've enjoyed it. Yeah, where I'm I, thinking I've like really there's been. It. I mean, actually, it's been a good year because you learn a lot, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think, um, I think, to, like, I think part of this is also the fact that we put out an episode over Christmas because I've noticed a lot of uh, podcasts that have gone quiet in the last two weeks, you know, because they've taken time breaks and time off. Um, but but we've kept podcasting as well so we have new episodes i think we should i don't think you should ever take a break to be honest with you i I think if mark sterling is in our waiting room should we let him in let him in i mean it's it's a reasonable time for him what time is it oh it's like uh 10 to 2 like two o'clock your time like you know what sign him off we can call him back when it's (laughs) do you want me to hang up on him (laughs) (laughs) hung up on us i lost him (laughs) you did Shotguns. <laughs> that's awesome he did bail on us where is he i don't know he's he should be coming back so we're, we're getting uh so we you, you had uh so the voices you heard before were steven soto from bed bath and beyond mexico and tim dumas from jacks out on the west coast um that was actually a pretty interesting conversation completely unscripted now we have uh mark sterling from orion sales on <laughs> i'm happy just to be on before dinner. yeah we debated to leave you in the waiting room for a little while longer you know, I'll call you, you know like maybe like till tonight uh, i felt like i was getting iced a little bit here you guys were like freezing the kicker here i was coming in mm-hmm. to kick the last minute field goal i just wanted to jump on to happy new year i'm on holidays today just finished my day today i have to be on with kenny since uh, nine Six. o'clock this morning wow. uh well six yeah. your time nine my time and then just finishing a, an exec call just now which uh, I was fired up for, but I ended with a very high note with one of our team members getting engaged over the holidays, which was yeah. great to hear. Awesome. Um, so that was cool after I, I lost it on all of them to start the meeting, but uh, <laughs> uh, it was good. Uh, nothing like starting the meeting. But I honestly just wanted to come on because the, the, the time worked for me today. It was midday for me. I, I, if you guys ever want me on again, you know, happy to do a one o'clock Eastern you know, time. You, well, you pay for these. You pay for these. Well, this, is like, a, this, these are, this is for big guns. You know, big these, guns. These, are, these are big, big guns. Plus. Like we, we don't, you know, this is like primetime TV, you know, like you'd be paying Super Bowl money for advertising. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's a whole different world, I, was hoping to, I was hoping to have your uh, one of your you know highly regarded guests, your life coach or your business coach on to get some free advice before the holidays or before the new year. Oh, Lori? Yeah, Lori, but I guess she's not on right now. But uh, if she jumped on you later, out let me know. Minutes, Lori may show. I don't know if Lori's going to show. She didn't say anything, um, but she she may pop on. Uh, we did figure really, out that. Honestly, secretly, I just wanted her on so I could tag up with her on Kenny uh, just to have some payback <laughs> to him. Uh, Did, which would be enjoyable, so, but that's it. I don't know if you saw that, but if you saw that, like you said, Lori, and we both went, where do I hide? Where do I hide? You know, like exactly. Well, it's a, because that's you need other people on when Lori's on just to yeah. deflect to other people, like it put it we to have, new people. Uh, and then Cherry is jumping on. Uh, it's just coming in but uh um cherry was on talking about air table she's kind of built herself this pretty cool business out of that um oh she's a little frozen it's okay so mark you're gonna head well, off i'm gonna head out merry christmas all right merry merry christmas. Christmas. Happy, new happy new year happy new year happy new year, happy new year. Happy new year. Yeah. Anyway, i'll talk to you probably well, tomorrow am i talking to you tomorrow or not you can call me tomorrow okay i'll call you in the morning all right thanks okay, okay. Cheers. okay. take care Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. How, How are, are you? you? I'm Good. doing well. 
Excellent. Penny, I see you've got a new mic set up. That's great. No, this is the old one. You know what? I, I probably oh. hit it last time. Or maybe because when I, if we're on with La Grotta, sometimes I'm in the basement, just on the laptop. Mm -hmm. If I'm podcasting, I'm, I'm up here. In the studio. I have, to, I have to look like, I have to look and sound like Phil. <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's a whole different it's a whole different game sherry it's so Jerry's much pressure you've made some upgrades you've 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 got a little air ops consulting I have, I have. And, then, and then you've got a fancy chair now oh, that's a chair i just noticed like that's a it's fancy true, it's true. well i was in my room last time which was uh i'm sure I had the wooden panel in the ceiling but i remember i, I thought you were here quality. normally when i talk to you you're here i think oh yeah, yeah probably here, i think probably and I repainted the back wall as well so it's uh, mm -hmm. a little more uh, well apparently white doesn't do well in videos so I've opted to a gray well see there you go there you go awesome you go. how was your holidays it was great lots of food and family time uh -huh. um, a little bit difficult because of the whole COVID situation so then we had to uh, just really pick and choose what yeah. Um, how we would celebrate yeah yeah but it was it was nice yeah and I I say that. yeah i i kind of like so we it was just the five of us and then we did a bunch of zoom calls um mm -hmm. but i didn't want to i don't want to get i didn't want to get anchored like you know the way you do with uh with zoom calls so like one place so i actually set up like three different laptops um so you could kind of wander around the main floor so the kids you know what I mean? Like, so we, we literally had them strategically placed so that you could kind of walk around and like still be able to see and hear. Oh, that's so uh, cool. Yeah. And how did you set up the mic then? So I wired one mic to like the middle of the room, uh, like an ambient mic. Um, and then I left all the speakers on, like on, uh, no, I, I wired up one big speaker and then one mic um, so that you could kind of pick it up everywhere. So that was the only thing is like, if you if you wanted to like really talk to everybody, you had to like wander over closer to the mic, but otherwise you could, you know, you could be anywhere. So I think like at one point we, we ran our Zoom call for like four hours, I think, uh, <laughs> and, and just left it on, right? And then like we had three other families on. And so you kind of like, you know, like I, I, at one point we were like, hey, we're eating dinner. And then the laptop was just there. So people could talk to us while we we're eating dinner. Yeah. And then we would just wander around, play with the dog. And then when they were eating dinner, we could sit with them while they ate dinner. Um, you know, and then and then we played some games online and stuff like that. So it was, it was kind of fun. Uh, yeah, it's a holiday live stream. Yeah. Well, what else do you do this year? Right? I mean, it, was, it was a very different year for sure. So it just it, it just felt kind of dumb to like anchor to, you know, like to one spot so that all you can do is sit there for four hours, right? Because that's not really how you would do it if they were around you know right. so, yeah. yeah 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 and what about you ken we did the same sort of thing i mean we, we've never had this few people like because my daughter came back from she was up north she came back she had she got covid right so she came back down on the what was it the tw um 18th or 19th so she had to because she had it like tested for yeah. they don't do 14 weeks you know it goes to like a 10 day kind of thing right because you, you skip the first part where you're not too sure and the asymptomatic yeah, yeah. stuff. Because you, so, you're sure. <laughs> yeah. So you're pro you got it. You got it. So yeah. we didn't see her until the 27th. Okay. So for oh. Christmas day, it was <clears throat> my mom and dad, because they've been literally yeah. in our bubble type yeah. thing since uh, the beginning and yeah, Daniel. Yeah. So the five of us, and then we did the same thing. We had, um, you know, iPads, my mom and dad have iPhones. Um, we had the iPads and we did, you know, the, the family zoom. So my brother-in-law, yeah. my brother yeah. and the family. So we got, you know, I mean, it's, it is what it is, right? At the end of the day, you can, I mean, whatever. It's one Christmas out of, out of, of out of many, many. So really in the grand scheme of life, yeah, it was difficult yeah. per se, but you know, I don't know. We kind of all brought it back down to, you know, really, truly it's not, it's not, yeah. we're not in that tough a position, like seriously, relative yeah. to a lot of families who are out of work or had people, you know, not make it yeah. through COVID. I mean, for us, I mean, yeah. yeah, it was an interesting Christmas. I mean, whatever. Nice. Next year will be better. That's all you go with. And we got we got Taz Latifi on. This is so cool. So hey, for, Taz, for people who can't yes. see, we have Taz on now, and then we've got Cherry uh, and Kenny and I are, are not leaving. But <laughs> 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 welcome. 
thank you. I just got your email. I'm like, what's going on? And oh, then I, I know. You had sent another one previously, uh, so. I know. Well, because I clearly needed a vacation, right? Because I sent it at the wrong times on it. I, I went in and like I, I clicked the Zoom and the Zoom wouldn't work for me. So I have no idea where, how or how I built that Zoom link because it's nowhere, right? So I was just like, I needed to stop working. <laughs> Yeah, so something went sideways. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's new, guys? Are you guys rocking it out right now? Oh my gosh, it's uh, the hangouts actually been really fun. We we had uh, yeah, we it's had, been okay. Um, Steve, uh, who was uh, Bed Bath and Beyond uh, Mexico on earlier, and Tim Dumas, who runs Jack's Alcohol, on, and and we've got you guys on. Uh, Mark was yeah. Mark Sterling was on here earlier just now. So yeah, it's it's been really fun. It's just uh, you know chance to hang out see some some great faces again and you know getting see updates on everybody challenging everyone on what they're doing next and what 2021 is going to look like god help us all oh, god help us all. yeah god help us all is right oh man i think we're all curious to see what 20 what it's going to look like yeah well, i'm curious i'm curious to see what's going to play out you know what's interesting um when when it was 2019 the end of 2019 i didn't I never look too far ahead, which maybe is a mistake as a business owner and um, just as a human. <laughs> I don't know if I am, it's the right way or not the right way. I try to take things as they come. And then I realized with COVID that we have to be able to shift so fast. We have to be able to pivot so fast, especially when you own a business. You know, um, I mean, Terry, you have a consulting company, right? Yes. So, right. you know, you and whoever you work with, they rely on consultants or people that work with them to kind of move really fast and yeah. get to the next place because they can't do it themselves sometimes. They need hand-holding. Yeah. So um, if we can't do that in our lives, how do we expect to bring it to companies we work with? So um, I'm kind of glad that I never gave a shit what the future... <laughs> What the future holds. You know, you have to have an overview, but yeah. if you get stuck on it, yeah. I think, um, and a lot of people do, or, or they get stuck on the past and what they've accomplished. I've done this and I've done this and I've done this. Yeah. Well, okay, now what? Yeah. Well, so now what's right? Right. So, you know, I have, uh, this year has been as bad as it was. It was in, intense learning. It was almost immersive for me. Like I'm jumping in and I'm going to, if I get hit, if I get beat up, if I, if someone wants to spank me, no, I didn't say that, but if something needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was, that was a whole different visual, a whole different context. The whole, the whole thing just changed. You guys need a little action, I think. Well, we went to it. We went right into adult right away. I, I don't know what happened there. The whole format of this podcast changed. There was a whole reason I did that because so, sometimes we need to wake up. That's and awesome. We're, words make that happen, right? So I do that in my business, even when I'm just talking to pet owners, because yeah. all of a sudden you see them glazing. And if I don't challenge them and connect to their own emotions, you know, like, talk to them the way their dog is right. thinking yeah. like the dog is saying you're an asshole you have not taken me out for a walk for six yeah. hours butthead you know if i say it that way and i'm being super nice i don't know if that's nice but yeah if i don't no, that's nice i've seen you mean oh, i've seen you mean that was nice not likely oh me not no no she's just she's amazing like really like even when she's being hard it's it's amazing like it's it's great it's, i'm not i'm not being facetious i, I really mean it like yeah. Anyway, please continue. <laughs> but that challenge is really important because sometimes we start losing track. And if we don't, as a speaker or the person that is um, communicating the information, if we don't make that story enjoyable enough and tangible and yeah. we don't connect, then we lose the whole picture. Right. So that's, I, I think uh, this year, God, thank you for bringing it to an end and not letting me die from COVID. But <laughs> that was, again, veering off. I, uh, I think that ability to pivot and reconnect with the listener and the person that, that you're talking to, especially now on video, right? Yeah. 
It's good. Yeah. I can I can grab my phone and start looking at that while you guys are talking yeah. and think that I'm hearing you. Yeah. I'm not. So yeah. making sure that you capture everyone's attention when you're losing them. So important. So that that ability to pivot, I think, is really important. Hopefully in my um pursuit for a job, I will be able to use those tactics to move forward. Um, so what's happening with the business? Are you, I was going to ask you that too, because the last you, time I think we were exiting, you, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, what's happening with the business? Um, I have, I still have it, Yeah. but it will, it has an end date. Everything expires. Oh, yeah. It has an end date and I have chosen that end date and um, hey. uh, whether it sells or it doesn't, there is an end date and it's, it's good. So you have, you have, you have drawn a line in the sand and said, I'm, I'm. There, there is a line in the sand. Good for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Okay. Very so, good. I'm doing a bunch of other things. And uh, like before I was on the, um, Simon Sinek, find your why just before yeah. this uh, yeah. um, course. And um, and I know my why. I just wanted to see what else I could learn. You know, learning is yeah. a constant for me. So it's, uh, it's, awesome. I think it's a really exciting time. Yeah. Awesome. Good for you. Awesome. Good for you. We, uh, we just had Chloe join us. Chloe's uh, a marketer at Pauling Labs. Um, hey. We're glad that you could join us. There's uh, Cherry, who was uh, on the show. She was She's uh, Airtable, and then Taz, who runs Petropolis and her own biz. Uh, I guess Petropolis, longer. the retail side and the consulting side of things, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of the podcast, so I actually have listened to both your podcasts. Actually. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah, I, actually, I was listening good time to, one to ask you when you're coming on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> a better story. <laughs> I was listening. Well, who was I listening to yesterday? And I love the quote so much that it was last week's. And he said, um, it's like at the end of the year, it's like trying to land a plane by yeah. at the same time trying to take one off. Yeah. And I was like, that is so relatable. Yeah, yeah that's true. Chris though, Bailey. Right? That's Chris. Yeah, that was Chris yeah. Bailey from yeah. I was the idiot that um tried wanted to launch a new e com website and three campaigns for Gen First. Not a good way to go into a holiday at all. No. You um you look like you're in an office, but I recall having I a conversation about being on vacation this week. No, so today I, actually, I was originally going to be on vacation today, but um, I was in Vernon and we went skiing and that was fun. But again, did I just mention about the e-com <laughs> site? And the, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yesterday, I think similar to a, a colleague of mine, Jerry and Des, I've seen um, another friend of mine that's another colleague, sorry, of mine that is meant to be on vacation this week that has just been on the line for an hour. I think, Tim, you would be very familiar with Mark. <laughs> yeah, Mark and I were on from six this morning, my time till 10. <laughs> yeah, he's a um, lucky wife, I guess, at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, I can relate. I've had some plans to go on vacation as well, and uh, I don't think they were played out the way I intended. <laughs> I don't think anybody's did. I know everybody was, oh, I'm off the week after. And nobody is off. I've talked, no. everybody is working no. this week. I know. It's a silly yeah, amount of things. Right. Yeah. And not many are happy either, just so we know that. They're, they're, none seem to want to work this week. It's not a happy work week, necessarily. <laughs> I'm very yeah, happy to be here with all of you. That's <laughs> nice. Well, it's, it's nice to have everybody here too, right? But it's not really work. That's why it's nice. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. I've just gone into the boardroom and escaped. I'm like, I'm in a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Was it, is it Richard in? Yeah. We're, we're just going to come and say hi to you. Well, he's in the warehouse. Because the warehouse is stopped. Chloe's like trying to run away from Richard. You can't have Richard come in. <laughs> oh, exactly. that's what it is. From him. That's what it is. You know? what what if he comes in, I've got to put this on. It drives me insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to wear those masks, baby. You gotta get rid of this stupid thing. Bill, yeah. I also want to bring your attention to that there were 43 people on the email you sent and you didn't yeah. see any one of us. What? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Uh, like, when I when I look at it, it says to Linda and 43 more. I'm like, okay, well, that's a big faux pas. <laughs> Clearly you've been on Zoom way too long. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, like I sent it, oh, I sent it back out. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right, but it's okay. 
There are forty three. Phil, Phil struggled. Forty three invitation. Phil has struggled with. I'm okay with it, but I don't know if every single forty three other people are. Ah. Uh, because <laughs> it could be I'm, a pretty valuable list if you think about it. I'm gonna sell it. Um, <laughs> no, I I think most of the people on this list won't won't sell it. We've actually made a bunch of connections already. Like so, Tim and and Stephen were on on earlier, and they already. They already connected and they're, they're building their own Zoom meeting next week already. Well, um, I just want to thank really. you for the invitation because it reconnected me with you and Ken. Yeah. Who, that might have been one of the um, podcasts that I ha kind of forgot about that I want to put on my website, the recording. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm writing you back to say, can you send it to me again? And I, Ken, I have big news for you. Mm -hmm. I sold Granola Girl. What? Oh, for you? I, I sold. I sold my business in a pandemic. Can you believe that? Oh, well, well done. That's awesome. Congratulations. Wow. Good job. Uh, April is on. She ran. She did run. Granola Her, she Girl. had gr Granola Girl. On way back, April twenty. Founded Granola Girl. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so are you the only one that's actually on holidays happened? right now? Uh, no, because <laughs> I'm full time life coaching, <laughs> and wow. I love it. Okay. Good for you. Awesome. Really what I am called to do. And like Ken, you know, he, you mentor a lot of people and I've wanted to do that, but I actually want to get paid for it. And it's working <laughs> out. <laughs> Let me know how the pay part goes. You know what, Ken, your okay. brain, I don't care. I can't. brain is so valuable. Oh, you yeah, can shit. tell people to go to your cafe and sit with you and give them an invoice. <laughs> I can do the front part, good the second part. Ah, whatever. Don't worry I'm about watching it. Kenny's brain get bigger now. Yeah. It's... I'm worried about this. It's such a valuable <laughs> service that you are help. And I know this from experience, having only mentored one girl who I've already saved her thousands of dollars. You, you, yeah, if maybe. you can help people save yeah. time, energy, and money, yeah. that is worth yeah. the price you would pay. Which was sort of what the motivation of this podcast was originally with Phil yeah. and I. That's what we thought from the beginning. Yeah. We were getting yeah. a little older, not old, but older. We've been around long enough and we're not, you know, financially destitute. We kind of thought, you know what, it might be cool to do a podcast to actually yeah. help it's great yeah. to give it back. people on a larger scale. That was sort of the intent from the, from the get go. That's, and that's why we have such a diverse group of people. Cause I mean, whatever, what's, what's between your ears really. Yeah. I guess you can charge for, but at the same time, ah, a freebie here and there ain't going to kill anybody. I feel like you guys are always asking the questions. Could, as a longtime listener and a fan, can I ask you two questions? Yes, but let me say hi to Bram first. So we got <laughs> Bram from Shelfgram on. Uh, oh, yeah. So, I love that. so if you're just tuning in, there's Bram and there's April, formerly Granola Girl, now Life Coach. We've got Chloe, who is going to come on the show. Um, and we've got Taz and we've got Sherry. And then there's Kenny and I. Yeah, I just wanted to say, hey, guys. Guys, yeah. happy holidays. Thank Hope you guys are doing well. well. Yeah. 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 I love the shelf grand brand. I'm oh, was a brand thanks. manager for years. So every time I was like, this is genius. Like the amount of um pretty cool photos in my phone that are just of <laughs> displays in store. I know. It's so funny, right? It's all like pictures of my kids' first day of school, picture of my dog, picture of a planogram of mustard, picture <laughs> of like yeah. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, that's great. Um Yes, yeah, since then, uh, we're, we've, we've just launched our um, completely like overhauled mobile app and uh, an analytics suite and a couple of other things. So it's been great. That's awesome. my dog. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Dogs are welcome too. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll grab her one second. You might as well. Phil's already had his dog on this morning. So I it's have. Not, it's yeah. all good. Oh, then, while Bran's grabbing his dog, we got Jim and Lori Shoplin on. Welcome. Hi, guys. How this are is you? Rue. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Cute. What a cutie. Oh, Rue, 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 say hi. One second. Let's wave. Hello. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. This is a cool hangout. I actually, I think I, mean, I were kind of prepared to be by ourselves for two. I just thought I'd be talking to Phil for a couple hours, <laughs> no which is okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which makes it harder for me to justify to Amelia that I'm actually doing something. Because yeah. we go, what are you doing? I was talking to Phil. Well, you could do that every week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, for two what hours, a way to end the year. Just one guys, hour? I know. It's like, I you love your rants. The ones where you're uh, 
your guests decide not to show up and it's just you two ranting the heck <laughs> out of the podcast it's hilarious that olive oil rants and <laughs> uh, did, we had, did that was an educational thing for phil on that one <laughs> <laughs> to teach phil. Anyone yeah. for the first half of the show i'm always like have i missed a part of the show <laughs> oh i know it's just our way i think more consistent at least right it. that's yeah. that's got to be worth something yeah. Yeah. yeah man chloe you had a question for us how's um the 38 hour work week going for you both i know that was the start of the year goal it is. Kenny, do you want to answer first? This is untimely because now Lori's on and I feel... I know. <laughs> I, 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 I got to think of what I'm going to say because so, I don't want Lori so, to sit there and then, oh, geez. I so Lori, I have to tell you this, right? So Mark Sterling was on <laughs> earlier and Mark was like, hey, where's your coaching friend? Is she on here? Because I wanted to get, you know, some advice. And I said, oh, you, you just got to wait a couple of minutes. Lori and Jim will for sure be on here at some point. And then, but when he said it, both Kenny and I went... Wait, we're, oh my God, hide, hide. Is Lori we coming? need other like, people on with us like... so that we can defer the issues to someone else. <laughs> hey, Kenny, Phil, you should try living with her. See what it's like when you go live with her. <laughs> it's almost like all of a sudden everyone needs to be on their best behavior. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you just bring out the best in us. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't know. I, 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 Kenny and I've had some discussion back and forth of, and actually probably the funniest podcast ever was when phil didn't know he was being coached oh yeah that was, right and all of a sudden yeah. and we were of course on zoom and his whole face just froze it's like oh that was for me yeah oh my god oh Holy my god shit, you guys are you this is me oh crap and, yeah. and it was like phil's like oh oh my god oh i don't think i like that <laughs> That was because the episode before I got, I got, yes. um, that's yeah. why, and I thought, you know what? Yeah. I am enjoying this immensely. <laughs> it's a lot more fun to coach than be coached, yeah. even though I probably need more coaching than most, but that's a different story. Um, Chloe, sure. to get to your question, I think my 35 has been, it was doing pretty well up until about December. December wasn't 35 by any stretch of the imagination um but i thought 38 was the goal it was 38 he just doesn't want to change he wants to change the <laughs> but but yeah december was more like 55 ish i think right. yeah 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 but but it's it's fine right like overall scheme of things it's been really good like i was actually um uh i i'm 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 not female so i don't belong in the joy club but I've actually been losing weight along the way. I've lost uh, a pound a week. Um, so I'm down seven, eight pounds this week. So oh, I've oh, gained oh. like a pound a week. Yeah. <laughs> on purpose or is that due to stress? No, no, that's on purpose. That's on purpose. So I've been, I've been working out and nice. doing the things I need to do. Sure. So, you know, so it's, it's going, I'm, I'm, I'm on track. I, I need to make some corrections in the new year. So I don't stay 50 hours, but yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I, haven't been, I, I haven't been i said so chloe my thing is i took advice from like on my screen someone at the bottom of my screen sitting with her husband is um i i did i made some choices so i've i'm really down to um us like because chloe's part of us mm -hmm. uh with with pauline and i with la Grotta, which is more uh my other family right so all i've really got now is the two i spend all my time more or less on the two and really and truly, like if, if where I look, my work week goes, it's hockey cards and coins that are chewing up all my freaking time. Like with us, I, I can, I'm like probably doing 38, maybe 45 on the high side of work for the two. And then I'm probably doing about the equivalent, just farting around with hobby. You're such like, a nerd. I love it. My <laughs> world is awesome. Like I seriously, I think I find, I think I've ended up in a dream. Like if I can play with hockey cards and and coins all day, are you kidding me? It's amazing. And your mom still brings you cookies. And my well. mom drops cookies off. I mean, <laughs> shit. Like, what, what kind of world do you want to live in? Mama Venucci. And my wife tolerates me to do this stupidity. Are you? I mean, I'm like winner, winner, chicken dinner. I love it. That's great. Oh, I'm a totally good spot. Uh, I have to but tell I, yeah. you, your cookies. I had one. I have one biscotti. Kathy ate all the other ones. Like literally, like they come out of the package, and I haven't even 
Like I haven't I put them away and she's, she's already making a coffee, right? Like she knows, she saw the packaging coming from yeah. you and she was making a coffee so she could dip the first biscotti. I'm like, I didn't get one yet. Like what the hell, right? Like, like, you know, anyway. My mom brought over like 10 tins, like tins. Wow. I t- I, the day she brought him over, I, 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 probably, I should have probably, I mean, I gave her shit. I said, like, it's, there's nobody here. There, there's no Christmas. Again, my brother's not home. Are you, I, it's just impossible to eat that many cookies. Seven, there's seven bubbles on this screen right now. Oh my uh, God, it cost me a million dollars. You have 10 tins this cost me a million dollars to get, to get these cookies out. I what's happening here. Mm. Anyway, I'll do a that's, remote pickup. <laughs> uh, listen, if you want to stop by, and get, I'll tell you what, if you want, if you want to laugh, you can stop by because I'll do it. Because I had a friend the day my mom brought him over an hour later, I got a buddy phoned. Um, his wife was at VGH, I don't know, with cataracts or something. I said, stop on the way home back to Coquitlam. Just stop at the house. I've got a variety. I'll, I'll give you like eight of each. So I gave him like two Ziploc bags. I mean, seriously, barely put a dent. I barely put a dent in the cookie uh, problem. There is so many cookies in this I'll house. I'll hold you to that. Let me yeah. message you. <laughs> Come by the house. We'll have to talk. Stop you got by the four house. Or that could do curbside pickup right there. Absolutely. Oh, just, wait, just, maybe not Chloe. Chloe's. Are you a little far away? Actually, no, Chloe's, Chloe's no, in this van. Super close to Kenny. Ah, okay. So Chloe's in this van. Right there. Just stop yeah. by the house. Like, seriously. Cookies galore. And you know what? When we right. run out, all I can do is make a phone call <laughs> or a text. Can't take that without giving us your address. I don't know if he's left the house. In I March. get two seven six eight e sixteen. Pop by. What? Just text it. Text ahead just to make sure I've got the what sixteen. Oh, you're on the other side of town. That's where all the big shots live. I'm on the. I'm on the. I'm on, the, I'm on the east side. Barely <laughs> across the border. We're, we're the little shots. Ontario. <laughs> now, you have to edit the bit. address out of the podcast, there, Phil. <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> what was that in the chat? Three one. How yeah, far right. is it? To, how hard is it to find someone's information in today's world, Mr. Shaw? Yeah. Beautiful. How, how are, are you guys doing, them? Lori and Jim? Uh, so interesting, like Kenny, uh, kind of living the dream, and even hmm. more so than just work. Um, we had some amazing news at Christmas. Uh, we're going to be grandparents. Wow! <laughs> Congratulations! How cool is that? So our daughter, Mackenzie, we have a fair question because we have uh, three kids and two got married within four months of each other. So wow. absolutely fair question. It's like, and that's funny. I called one of my friends and she's like, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Which one? Um, yeah. But it was interesting. It wasn't lost on me that I've, cause I, even though I coach, I get coached all the time mm-hmm. of, I was foreboding joy because you know the circumstances of our daughter she had leukemia when she was little so yeah. i never yeah. really kind of saw this happening as yeah. whether it was a real thing so crazy it's so cool oh, wow. this, uh, that's amazing was, uh, who had the harder time yeah. of the news i had a really tough time with it oh, oh my God. Oh. it was it was really quite what Wait, why? so why, why why are you I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just not ready. You know, it, it's, I don't know. I, I, I think a grandparents is something different. And uh, mind you, everybody I talked to loves being a grandparent. Yeah. Right. And, and said, you know, they would have started with that. It would have been better. Right. And yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know, Kenny and I are the same age. I just, uh, you yeah, know, I just I kind don't of, know. I, I, Jimmy, I'm kind of with you. I, you know, as much as I think it'd be really cool. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's something feels too early. Mm. yeah but you know what that's the beautiful thing i think i'm embracing is Mm. that you got a lot of years with a young one that's awesome yeah like i and you know we've we've started our track of our own businesses so that we can have the flexibility so how it came up with my coaches i wasn't planning on telling anybody but i booked off no clients in july and august and she's like oh that's great you know got some big plans and i burst into tears i'm like oh no (laughs) wow but because we can because we're self-employed and we Stand I have a plan, right and it's yeah. like, oh. yeah. so yeah, l- life is fantastic. So that's awesome. That's great news. Ah, Congratulations. That's awesome. Congratulations. Wow. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. That's amazing. Well, Although, can I ask when they're due? When she's due? Uh, July, early July. July. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, and she's a teacher, so that just you know works really well with their schedule and yeah. stuff. But yeah, she gave ornaments at Christmas, and uh, Jim's was pop pop for grandpa kind of thing, and she was playing on that, and then mine was glamour. So I was like, oh, I, could I totally could rock a glam up. So I'm gonna have fun with that. I like that. Yeah. Wow. I always really appreciated my 
grandparents being quite young and mm -hmm. very active. Certainly lots of play days at the park and, mm -hmm. and run around with the little kids. Yeah. I just think it's great for them. I think it's, I agree. kids can grow up with grandparents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you can't, I mean, honestly, I, it, I mean, I'm with you, Jimmy. I get, I get the age thing. Like I, 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 I get that. But at the same time, I just think, you know, like at 25 years, you're, you're 80, you're still relatively young. The kids, yeah. you know, like you get to see everything. Yeah. yeah. Like, in, and I think that's what, like, if you talk to like all the friends or even my folks, if you talk about it from a grandparent stage, it's because you can watch all the, the cool stuff happen and all the shit, I guess, but it's not yours. Yeah. Right. So you get to enjoy it from a whole different level. Like it's, you get to spoil them rotten them hand it back i mean yeah. what the hell right the other part that i found so interesting for this year i mean you, you think about covid you think about all the things that went on you look at the economy you look at all these things that kind of go on there's still life that's happening right 100%. there's still things people want to get married people having kids there's all this yeah. other life that goes on right and, yeah. and i think for us and for me in particular that was one of the things when i look back on 2020 and go you know i learned a lot about myself i learned a lot about our family but I was, I, you know, I was really thankful and feel blessed for what we were able, what we've been able to create in terms of our business and in terms of, of what we're able to be able to do and, and be in a position where we can, we can pivot and we can, you know, show for our kids um, as they're starting out as young adults right. in their married life, what, uh, what things go on. Cause Hey, life isn't, you know, it's not a straight line, right? No. It's, it, there's going to be ups and downs yeah. and uh, uh, facing those challenges and how you do that and having a coach um, you know, a life coach to be able to call upon and, and to walk and talk through things and stuff has been so, so valuable in this time for sure. So, yeah. That's amazing. amazing. That's awesome. Cool. The other day when I tried to coach No, you. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I said it's not a coachable moment the other day, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So. That's, yeah, that's, that's all emotion driven. That's, yeah. 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 Uh, you'll snap out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I have to jump to a meeting, but it's been lovely chatting to you. Thanks so much, okay. Phil and Kenny, for inviting me. Bye, Chloe. Yeah. We'll no, see thanks you for coming on. on. Bye, Chloe. Sounds good. Bye. Yeah. Happy Ciao. Bye. Happy New Year. Wow, we are. This is amazing. I, like, I have some of my most favorite people on this on this stream with me. It's kind of cool. Cool. That's very cool. You're just saying that because we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, April. <laughs> He just said that before for the other screens. That were <laughs> no, he's no, saying that because he was worried that it was just going to be me and him for two hours. <laughs> I'm really grateful just to be reconnected on a new note. And I wanted to just come on and say hi and tell you my announcement in person. Yeah, that's so amazing. thank you, Ken. You've been like such a great um, person I admired in the industry. And I'm thank actually you. happy to say I'm out of it, <laughs> but I'm still happy to You're help. Not, you won't get that far away. It drags you back in. Did it's you? Hard, though, but look at the great people you. Oh, it's awesome! Come on. Yeah. So I'm Seriously? happy to have this uh, reunion. It's a good. Was game. it so, worth the ride before you go? Was it worth the ride? Oh, you know what? I wouldn't be who I am and the coach I am today if I didn't have that experience and right. knowledge. Because okay. not only. You know, I'm, I'm 46, I have three teenagers, so I can bring in my life experience and my business experience <clears throat> into yeah. the clients I attract. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's awesome. a very holistic approach now, I feel. Yeah. Can I Not ask you a question since we have two coaches here? How what? does a person who, I mean, there's all these therapists and who are doctors or they've gone to school, um, and then there's cognitive therapists and there now there's business therapists. They're all have, they all have MDs, PhDs, blah, blah, blah. How does your average person who thinks that they need to be, to get some guidance and help in taking the next steps, how do they choose who they should hire as a coach? April, go ahead. Yeah. I'd be like, do your research, look at everyone's bio, have a conversation and if you plan to have a long-term relationship with your coach, it's got to be someone you like, you feel safe with, you feel comfortable with. And hopefully it's kind of like the friend that could give you good advice and guidance. Mm. Is comfort a key here? Because I'd rather be with somebody that I'm not, not, not someone that I don't respect, but if you keep getting stuck in a comfort zone, mm. is that going to allow you to move forward? 
But I feel a coach is going to challenge you in the right ways too and ask the right questions that might make you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I would say somebody that can, uh, exactly what you're saying, April, of that friend, but the difference being that the coach is going to, instead of a friend of getting in the pool with you, right, that coach, and again, I, I totally agree, like everybody does basically consult. So just find somebody within the realm of what you're looking for and then just get on as many consults as you can to find that connection with that person. But they're going to want, like, hopefully within that call, they're going to leave you with something that that has made that call so valuable that you're like, I need more of that. Like, you're going to know, you're going to know when you get on there that they're going to challenge you in a way and give you a perspective of just one simple thing that you're like, oh my gosh, like, I want more of that. That's, that's been my experience of any coach that I've ever hired of it's like, oh my gosh, They've, and I've even like, I've searched people out of podcasts that I've never even met in person. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Like I, I'm going to work with you. So. And that's why these podcasts are crucial because it mm. gives our potential clients yeah. insight into who we are by the questions that you ask mm -hmm. and a good view of our personality and how we operate and, and communicate. And I also want to say like, don't jump into bed so fast, right? Mm -hmm. Like feel it out, date a yeah. few people, suss it out and, and see who you really get along with I also have this analogy of like it's like going through life like life is a haunted house and I've been through the haunted house and I've done those scary things that you hopefully won't have to go through because I can give you a heads up and I'm going to hold your hand and be there when you jump right so you feel safer to move through the next door and you're not going to be like paralyzed by fear to not move forward and that's what Kenny did for me, right? Like you made, you made it a more friendly environment so I could really talk to you and tell you what my fears and concerns were. And you just made it more normal and you normalized it and took the fear away. Wow. And said, yeah, you're welcome here. I'll talk to you and I'll help you. Thank you guys. I was asking Thank for you. a friend. <laughs> it's always a friend. It's you're always a friend. Oh, I gotta go. Thank you. It was nice to see you all. Oh, April, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, congrats. Be in touch. <laughs> Bye. 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 As a, for, for me, as an outsider to that, one of the things I always found interesting as Lori was, was starting up her business and that sort of stuff, I looked at more from a, a, a sports analogy of, of a coach within you know, a sports team or looking to get the best out of people and that sort of stuff and having that type of relationship. But one of the best ones I've heard is, is you know, you... Mom, do you, you want to see what women look like? Look. You hire a personal trainer for you know, working out, for instance, right? Going to the gym and that sort of stuff, right? And what is it that in that relationship that you're looking for, you know, in terms of a certain amount of expertise, but a certain amount of pushing you and, 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 but they're also, you know, getting to know you and that sort of stuff. And that, that was the one thing I found was so uh, really hit home for me in terms of, of sourcing out somebody is you wanted to have that enough relationship, but you also wanted to know that they understood you and, and, and could push the right button, so to say, so. Mm -hmm. well, Phil knows this, I mean, in the pet industry, there's a lot of coaches and it, it's interesting, like I would never, and I have um, hired people within the pet industry. And then I, I sit back, I'm like, ooh, I should have just not gone there. You mm -hmm. know, I'm not talking about anyone specific. It's just, there's, a, I think the industry that you're in uh, sometimes, if, if you're looking to hire a coach, and, and again, this is not a personal thing. I'm just, it's conversation. Um, sometimes it's good to get away from that industry and see a different perspective and coaches go with a coach that just like you said, a sports team, someone who's been yeah. coaching baseball, um, mm -hmm. you know, little league, let's say not, I don't want to go professional because he can coach soccer too. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to go pro yet. <laughs> Yeah, but that, that's an interesting way of putting it because you know consider on season, off season. Where are you in terms of building your business? Where are you in terms of what type of of of, of things that you need and you're searching out, right? So, are you training? Are you preparing? Or are you in the in the playoffs, sort of thing, sort of say? Yeah, yeah, yeah and diff using different body parts, you know, and and soccer, you're working differently than you would be in baseball. Mm -hmm. So, what are you strengthening during off season? So, those things are all what I would consider when I'm looking for a coach or, or if I'm looking to move forward in whatever capacity I, I choose to be in. So I was, I was just curious what actual coaches are actually going to say 
So Thank we, have, we have the same questions. Cause I mean, I recently just got in a commitment with a coach, which I've got to run here shortly. And, and, um, and I just offered to you of, I scoped out, I kind of knew cause it's a, it's a hefty investment. Like the one that I was choosing to do. And, um, but I, I just knew that there was something. And I often talk about like, she spoke my language. So even though she doesn't have the same business as I do, she can still, and similar to what was being said before is kind of just holding that space enough that just trusting and believing that I, in essence, have all of the inner wisdom for myself. She just has that ability to pull it out of me. And that empowers me so much that finding somebody that can do that. And I prefer somebody on a gentler side because I've had coaches that have yelled at me before. And even in like fitness classes, I don't really like those classes. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want you to yell at me, right? So it's, again, it's that personal attribute that works for you. Mm -hmm. And um, and I say, just get on and speed date as many as you can by doing consults with them to figure that out. That's great. That's great. Thank you. Great. Oh, you're so welcome. So for listeners, we uh, we had a couple of folks drop off. We had Bram disappear, but we've got uh, Kenny, myself, Cherry, Taz, Jim, and then Pindy joined us as well. Um, happy belated Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, hey, happy New Year. Yeah. Welcome, happy. welcome, welcome. Yeah, it, this is nice really jersey. cool. What's that? Nice jersey. Oh, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's Christmas a... Party. It's a Team Mexico jersey, um, but it goes really well with my pajama bottoms that you can <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I've been hanging out with you guys for like 90 it's minutes. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon, man. Like seriously. Oh, seriously though. At three in the afternoon. Take like, a really? shower this week, Phil. Hey, oh, no, easy on that. That's not, they don't have to do that that early, but this dress. I'm going out, so I, I don't need to wear anything besides pajamas, so. I took a pajamas, put on a fresh pair of pajamas and, or took a shower and then put on a fresh pair of pajamas. And, Do you guys have a YouTube page? Because I mean, you might as well put your stuff on YouTube as well. It's another platform. Come on, Phil. We, we don't really want to no, see No, nobody wants to see us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're, 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 we're very secure with ourselves. Taz, nobody wants to see us. A little mystery is good. Yeah. You know, so. yeah. <laughs> right, right. When we started, we figured, okay, if we really want to get to zero uh, people listening, let's yeah, let's yeah. film us, because yeah. that'll do it. So we figured, you know, we definitely have the faces for for uh, audio. I, we may we may put this one out if I can. Arm well, there's a lot there's a lot nicer people on this one than just you and I. Absolutely, you can light it up. <laughs> Good opportunity. Absolutely, yeah. just not us, Phil. Yeah. We we did for a little while, but we we just didn't. Yeah. You know, it just wasn't really our thing. Like it's. Uh, you know, all of our stuff comes from Apple, uh, between Spotify and Apple uh, iTunes, like yeah. Apple Podcasts. That's where most of our podcasts. So how much of this is about you versus your guests? A part of this is about, is about your guests. Your yeah. guests may want to have something visual. To if the guests wanted to be visual, we would probably do whatever the guests wanted. If the guests yeah. are asking us, like, yeah, I, I, I just know people want to want to see us. Well, I don't think we've had anyone ever ask. Well, you're the first guest to ever ask us. To be yeah. Honest. So we have had someone ask now. You too. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you know what. Sometimes what does it's funny because a lot of our guests that come on have never been on a podcast, right, or have never done um, any inter interviewing. And I think we're pretty casual anyway. I don't think we're like I don't think we're really that hard to, to deal with like, every, like all the first timers at the end oh that wasn't that bad because it's, like, it's just normal conversation yeah right yeah. and i think sometimes it's already hard enough for them to to get past the microphone mm -hmm. that when you get microphone and video i just think the intimidation level yeah. just kicks it up that extra notch Are you right? although i don't think it's a bad idea i didn't think that's probably i think maybe even it's more personal than even at that point I might be talking more about myself is that i like doing this when i'm talking to you and i know it's not going anywhere like we're just yeah. it's like dinner table talk yeah right but as soon as the camera's on then i'm you know then i'm thinking oh shit i should have showered uh, yeah, does that get like, out of the t-shirt it'll force phil to not wear pajamas yeah, but then I'm gonna have to put a shirt, like a proper shirt on, and you know, I got a shower shirt. and oh, I have a jersey and I showered. Well, on the note about uh, 
making the podcast conversation based. I think that takes a lot of talent because you have to know what kinds of questions to ask and how to respond to people in the right way to make it flow really nicely while still getting through the content. Oh, because let's I've be heard clear. lots of podcasts where no, you ask no. a question. Oh, sorry, go ahead. So no, I was just going to say, let's be clear. These guys, they don't really have the content laid out. Do you remember that conversation, guys? <laughs> there's lots. Oh, there's so much prep, Lori. Let's not, we prep oh, like crazy. Jerry, I went research, on the first call. Research, <laughs> research. And I said, okay, so what, you know, what do you want to talk about? Well, how let's guide this conversation. And they both started to laugh at me. Yeah. So, what do, you, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, so this is how the conversation with Lori went, right? I was like, Lori, we'd love to have you on. We think we could do this. What would Lori do think? She was like, cool, let's lay this out. And I was like, hmm? I just did. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Like, weren't you listening? It was very short. Like a structure about how we time. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. the structure is you'll come on, we'll come on, have a conversation, see how it goes. She's like, oh God, no, this is not what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh. We don't do the rest of it. Like <laughs> we say that, but we really mean it. We don't do the rest of it. I get people all the time. What what questions are you gonna ask? I said, I don't, I don't know. It depends right. on where, you, where you take it. I mean, yeah. this, we'll ask. this this reminds me. I did a, a presentation once to a to a like a career day type of thing to elementary school age kids about yeah. what I do, and I was working for a convenience store chain at the time, right? So. I prepare my presentation to go in there for like 30 minutes to talk to them about what's going on, right? And literally within, you know, 30 seconds, somebody raises their hands and asks me a question about flavors of Slurpees, <laughs> right? So that was the rest of the conversation, how to pick a flavor, how to pick, you know, we went in there and picked colors and flavors and that was it. And it's much like that when I came on your podcast, it was yep. kind of like, I was going to educate you and you're like, no, let's talk about Slurpees. So yeah, yeah. Elementary. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We haven't really I actually prepare for for my podcast guests. I yeah, get their do, history and I get their information, right? Yeah. And and then um, I always have, you know, depending on where the conversation goes, you have to be kind of, you know, you have to kind of be able to move with it and yeah. Yeah. have fun with it as well. Otherwise, if it's too serious, I mean, you guys are so not serious. It's actually hysterical to one end of the spectrum. <laughs> Whereas, I mean, I want, I, I don't want to be serious and I come off serious. I'm like, ugh, I don't like the way I sound. So I got to find the right balance. So this is why yeah. I'm <laughs> That's a good point. Because with the YouTube channel that I film, it's a lot of balance between, okay, how can I make this funny, but still professional because right. it's teaching people how to use Airtable and I'm not, no, I can't go off on rants about Slurpees and pastas and olive oil for 20 minutes. So I think it's really nice that you guys have that freedom. See, we can, right? No. I mean, it takes us sometimes 20 minutes to remember that. We, I guess we should tell people who's on the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we've done that. We've done up to about 20 minutes, I think a couple of times where uh, maybe we should just let the person know who, like, you know. Yeah, we should. We should introduction. Talk. But I, I don't know. I guess I mean part of this is just because we 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 do this because we really like talking to each other, you know, every yeah. week. I think I think that's the basis of the whole thing, right? So I think just having that as the base of of why we do this is is what makes it work, I guess. And then, you know, we both like to laugh. It's part of the way we do business. We, yeah. we don't. You know, we don't actually, I don't operate any other way as I try and, Cherry can tell you this too, I pretty much laugh through everything. Um, you know, so I, I think it's fun. It's, it's, uh, Plus, I think this is the way we are. I don't, yeah. if, like if you, like if, when I have, I think what is, well, if I have people that know me that listen to it, they just laugh. They said, sounds like you. I said, well, what's it supposed to sound well, like? I mean, it's going to sound like you can. That's who you are. Yeah. Well, because I think that's, that's why, that's probably why, it, I don't know, just, yeah, I don't prep in life. I ain't gonna prep for a. I'm not prepping for a show, so it's not gonna happen. I don't. I never prep when I was working. I, I ain't gonna prep now. You get no, what you get. It's gonna go where it goes. Well, I yeah, was actually. It. I I was uh, Phil and Ken had invited me a while ago on their podcast, and I mean, I really really enjoyed it, and it was quite. It, it felt it was just totally authentic. I mean, I I know Ken from before. First time really connecting with Phil. But I like the fact that it, yeah, it's Ken. It was Kenny. It's how Ken is, yeah. and yeah. Um, you know, and because it's such a niche audience that you have, 
for your podcast. And I think people appreciate that, that it doesn't sound too rehearsed, like to go on the flip side. Right. And I'm just speaking. So my sister started some HR consulting things. So she does these podcasts and she's my sister. I cannot listen to her podcast. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't do it. I'm like, who is this voice? What is like, she does this weird intro thing with her, like a lower voice. And I'm like, anyway, <clears throat> can't and she, she's like I want to have you on I'm like no because I'll make fun of you and we'll just get into it <laughs> that might be well, really no, it, it, no and I I'm so proud of her don't get me wrong so she's she quickly she's just she's a HR exec for the federal government but she is 100% a fed through and through right oh my. so her business concept is that she is she's getting she wants employers to empower their employees to really live to their fullest extent and give them more work-life balance so that they are performing better at work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, listen, not going to work in private sector, but have at it because you feds love spending money on this stuff. Exactly. Right. And that's it. After that, we just don't talk. She has, she's gotten a ton of gigs in that sector, like the public sector, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And she's really good at what she does. Yeah. But, and you know, I said, listen, I'm like, uh, don't look at me. Cause I, everything I work with is private and they, and Ken and I know that there's no such thing as work-life balance in our world. Right? So well, we talk, like, they talk a lot about it. They just don't necessarily follow through on they it. They don't follow through and she's all about yeah. following through it. But anyways, back to the podcast thing is just interesting for me, like my sister, but I can't listen <clears> to her because she is, she seems like someone else and maybe that's what she's been coached to do I don't know but it's just very different I think so it depends um, on the audience etc it just it really depends yeah like Richard's yeah. popped on so Richard's with Pauline Labs NRC right so even when Rich came on he was I think this is probably Rich's first podcast and he's asking the same things do I prep do I and we tell him nah just you come on shoot the shit and where no, it goes, it, goes. Just it can't get that bad I mean where's yeah. it gonna go yeah, like right. you just talk and I, I'd rather you know, it. Yeah. You know, I don't know if we do that. Do we edit? I don't, I, I don't do anything. No, we don't. We, do, we, we don't. don't edit. We, don't, you know, don't. in the early days. So uh, under like top, like first 50 episodes, I did some editing and then it sounds like uh, a lot of work, a lot of work. And then two is you didn't really like, it was like replaying the entire episode to find little blips and blurps in, in there at the end of the day. Um, and so, you know, like, it just didn't make a ton of sense um, for the amount of uh, time it took. So we, we stopped doing it. So, oh, uh, so there you go. I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. We've actually been listening to you because I. Uh, Ciao, guys. See you guys. Thanks for popping on. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Congrats, see you all. Congrats too. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right. Talk Congratulations. Bye. Yeah. And, and we, we. I just we, found out they're going to be grandparents. Uh, Richard. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, eh? Amazing. Yeah. Um, Small fact about Richard, which is going to embarrass him, but he still has the top ranked episode in this commerce life. Um, so I still can't get over that one. He's like the rock star of this commerce life. Wow. Yeah, he was episode 105. We're at 162 now. And uh, you, have, you have more downloads than anybody else. Wow, weird. And yeah. I, I guess <laughs> I'm a, uh, I, I must be paying people off. That's so embarrassing, but... <laughs> You know, you guys have had some pretty heavy hitters on. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, interesting. I don't know. Maybe it was uh, somebody wanting to learn something about hall parties. Who knows? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, we've, we've, uh, had a, we've had like a great afternoon of, of people hanging out. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Fun, yeah. yeah, Kenny and I, we were worried. We, we thought it'd just be. I actually honestly thought it was going to be Phil and I talking for two hours. Like, seriously, that's where I thought this was going to go. Which was <laughs> fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah it would have been fine. You know, no, I mean, I, I episode now I'm gonna go listen to Richard's episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put it on the yeah, back. Now I'm gonna have to look it up too. I want to hear That's what it. you pump those numbers, baby. Pump uh, those yeah, numbers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm yeah, we gotta keep you at number one. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, Great you know, job, guys. You got more listeners now. <laughs> I gotta, I just gotta stay as long as I stay above fat, I'll be happy. Um, but no, I mean, it's just, it's, I hear from a lot of different people on just how helpful uh the podcast is you know from uh people who have been in business for a while to, and it's just it's comforting to listen to right and hear other people's struggles and you know what they're going through and you guys are just so down to earth um you know you. it's you guys we lost him we lost him we lost him oh, did you lost there you go. yeah you're back. So, yeah you're gonna, i don't think i don't think so can he cut you off yeah yeah i just don't think you're doing it for the dough 
uh, more that you just really enjoy doing it and you guys enjoy each other. So yeah. it's pretty cool. I do mean, we get paid to do this, Phil? Are you hiding that part too? No. <laughs> I'm hiding that. I'm and in a soccer show. You're not podcasting I'm unless not. you're like Tim Ferriss or Brene Brown or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We did. Yeah. They, they probably prep though. See, we can't. Then we're screwed again. We can't. We can't do that. We, we did break the top two hundred. So we're we're ranked in Apple Podcasts. We are something like one hundred and twenty or one hundred and thirty for business. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Who are we? Are in Canada or that's North awesome, America? Bill. No, North America. Yeah. Wow. Seriously. Oh, yeah. that's great. so you guys should be running. I mean, not to, uh, but you guys should be running some like ads or something because I mean, that uh, listen, I, I was telling Kenny the other day, my little brother, he's not so little, uh, runs as a, started as a hobby, uh, a hockey blog site yeah. called Oilers Nation, and now he has Oilers Nation, oh, Nation Oilers. Canucks Army. Yeah. So he, 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 he generates about $1.6 million in ad revenue every year. That's insane, um, eh? And oh. he does it as a side gig hustle as a passion yeah. project. Yeah. Um, Did he give lessons on how to do that? I'm looking to learn. So yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's exactly it, right? So yeah, we're uh, going to have him on the podcast because you know what? We're going to have to figure this out. Taz, yeah. I'm, all, I'm with you. I'm all over this one now. Yeah. Can you use my business, you know, my podcast as an example? Let's let's do it. Light I'm it up, baby. I'm here because I'm always looking. Right? Light you know, it up. Herschel's going to beat me up after this. Well, Ken, um, Ken and Phil, so I had my fourth year pharmacy interns, they decided to start a podcast and a speaker series. Oh, cool. And, and yeah, great. And they did, actually, I'll send you guys the link. So you, like you guys, okay. yeah. but no. it's, it's, not, it's an hour of me talking, but that's okay. But um, kind of going off of what we were saying about advertising and such, I think there's definitely Phil and Ken for yourselves, there would be a lot of value with connecting with the business faculties at the university level. Mm. Um, because they are just so hungry for real life practical insight for the students yeah, and even, even doing these kind of I, you hate kids can be nice so really I so, think it could be cool so I'm, like, I, 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 like I, Phil so so J, yeah. my daughter so Jaya's in this like she's doing this dual degree thing and she's doing this management degree in business so she had yeah. this commerce class and it was all marketing and she's like, oh, this is so boring. I'm like, really? Because you get suckered into buying stuff all the time. So you, yeah. are, you are affected by marketing every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's just something maybe to explore. Yeah. I mean, if I come across anything, I'll give it, I'll, I'll pass it over to Ken. Yeah, let um, us know. Hopefully, like with Slaughter. And I think it could be something kind of neat, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, because they were asking me about my consulting, and which is why I was on with you guys about like as, as the pharmacist giving advice or medical writing, et cetera. So mm -hmm. I think it could be kind of neat. You know? Yeah, I teach. Uh, I, uh, I I know a lady uh, professor at Ryerson School of Business, so mm -hmm. I think I've got. Uh, I taught like three or four live classes there on merchandising and planograms mm -hmm. and things like that. So uh, every now and then I get um, someone who's going through the program going, "I just saw your lesson on planograms." I'm like, "Oh my god, that's like five years ago." You're still <laughs> that. Um, it's the same planogram. Yeah. It hasn't changed. Yeah. Nothing's changed, man. Same, yeah. same right. techniques. So it's it's of, uh, yeah. Although it may be changing now post COVID. I mean, I'm hearing that's, that's all, true too. I mean, people are ratting the heck out of their planos. It's yeah. crazy town. Yeah. Mm. Uh, skew rationalization is going to be the theme for 2021. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah on, on the other one, I, uh, my, my daughter is a, uh, she's 13. She's a, um, she does animation. And uh, gacha is a, a big thing among gacha you know, life. Yeah, my gacha daughter, life. my daughter does plays it. Yeah. So so she's got uh, so she did this channel for fun for a very long time. We got it all set up anonymously and everything. She uh, she just broke uh, twenty five thousand subscribers. So she's got uh, tw she just she did twenty nine thousand subscribers. So I helped her monetize a couple of months ago. So uh, November she pulled down. 2200 bucks how uh, old is she phil uh she's 13 uh that's yeah. awesome yeah that's and then this month she just hit her first she's had a couple of like half million views on episodes and then this month she just hit 850 wow uh, in in a couple of episodes so i think she's going to clear three grand this month uh, you know she just does it for fun uh like i showed her how to do the monetization part but 
um you know she does it for fun and and it's just been like this thing she does so good for her yeah um and she's just making little gotcha life episodes yep yeah yeah wow yeah. okay rich you got to talk to phil <laughs> yeah, no no i'm i'm definitely gonna get talk these to kids you. to start paying some rent in the house well, Let's no, go. No, <laughs> she's nine so she's got to start right it's mm. enough she's got to start earning exactly i mean it's gonna be 10 pretty soon what are you waiting for yeah. let's go <laughs> now all of a sudden child labor is widely accepted absolutely we're in a, well first we're in an italian home it's been accepted from the beginning you, you can walk you can do stuff work well, and she's doing it for fun. Has to be taught in schools, you know, yeah. money management. Oh, and absolutely, it's good for him. It is. It life is life skills. Well, what I was lacking, that's for sure. Well, yeah, it's good life it, skills. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool watching wow. her. Do her Very thing. cool. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know. I, I for us, I, I don't know if we're gonna, uh, like I, Kenny and I. I don't know if you remember Kenny, but like earlier uh, last year. We had, we had um, someone like, um, it wasn't the Squarespace, it was somebody small who showed up and wanted an endorsement, but we talked about it and, and kind of. I can't remember who it was, it was uh, I don't know. Yeah, you because know, running ads is, is weird for us, right? Like we, we've got to figure out how to drop them in the middle. Well, it's gotta, it's also gotta make sense for what, what it is, yeah. right? Like I, I, I don't, I mean, I don't think we're adverse to it. I just don't. Yeah, maybe Yeah. at some point, at some point, but right now. It's you know, pretty- brought to you by stamps.com or something like that. I mean, it's yeah. uh, get, get so- NRC to buck up. Well, I'm, ha- I'm happy to <laughs> just haven't been invited. Yeah, you already do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's I'd, I'd be like, that's already already biased as it is. Yeah. That's just so you know, like I, I do, I work with, I work with and for Richard and so does Phil. Yeah. So did Pindy for a short time too. So basically yeah. everybody's been rounded into that, that roundhouse. Yeah. We're oh, sorry God. we lost you. Yeah. And then well, we just pass people around. Already, Richard. Yeah. yeah. Harry, there's still a chance. There's the... still a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, yeah. And they are trying to still navigate that stuff, right? I haven't had the formal conversation with them yet, so we'll see. See how that goes. Uh, I'm going to leave that all to you guys. Leave it yeah. to me. I just do introductions and I walk away. Because otherwise it becomes work and then I just don't feel like doing it. No, you, don't, you work? No. No, I try not to. <laughs> I'm really trying this balance, life balance thing as best oh, I can. Stop. We can't. We're from London. We we lost our lives a long time. Yeah, ago. I know. That's true. It's all good. Do, it's all do good. we ask the other group this? If quarantine were to end now and you were vaccinated or you were safe to travel, yeah. What would be kind of your first Where are you going? destination? London. Oh. Interesting. Oh, me and you. That was yeah, my interesting. Yeah. 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 Uh, Cherry? I'm keen on Vietnam. Just had a friend move over there recently. Mid, mid-pandemic. Wow. Moved wow. across the world. Really? Interesting. Yeah, so that's going to be our big uh, friendship trip. Okay. Cool. okay. Next, hopefully. Okay. Taz? I'd probably go to Hawaii and spend mm. two weeks just kind of in a meditative there's so much energy there yeah and i'm not into that whole meditative shit but i think i need to get into that so <laughs> but there's something really zen about just lying on a beach in maui that's not yeah, a, it's not lying on a beach it's being in the water learning to sure. surf connecting with nature yeah. um all of that i really all meant. Of that. yeah i don't want to be in a city i'm already in new york city and uh yeah you know, and i talk to everybody around the world with my podcast so it's just yeah. Yeah, but uh, they're in New Zealand. It's between yeah. those two. Interesting. Richard? Um, so I have a, I owe a friend a, a, a kayak trip around the Napili Coast in Kauai. So uh, first trip yeah. would be that, because I owe him, I promised him I would do that. We were supposed to do it. <clears throat> this summer um so you know as long as the waves aren't too big and it, we're in, going into summertime uh i would be go- taking him to uh Kauai for that kayak trip followed by a quick turnaround with my family back there nice yeah and what about you i'm doing it we're gonna go to mexico we've canceled it twice this year right so yeah actually we canceled europe last, this year too that was yeah. your last trip right uh, we were supposed to be in Europe for three weeks for a soccer, yeah. and that didn't plan out. We were we had canceled 
Mexico in April. And then I was going to book Mexico again in October. And obviously that wasn't going to work. Then I was going to book Mexico again in for February, but that doesn't look like it's going to work. So yeah, I, I just want to get, you know, it's gotta get out of here. I mean, you got to find another place. There's a wall now in Mexico. You got to find I think that probably, I think we're going to go back to Europe. Yeah. I mean, we, you know what it is? I think right now, honestly, I think we just want to get on a plane, which sounds so pathetic, but just to go somewhere. And I mean, honestly, it's been 11 months and in, in literally, I mean, we're in Canada, man. So, and we're, I'm in Vancouver. Like, I mean, come on, seriously, this is not that bad a gig. Like four of us are in the same city. It's not that bad. I mean, we live in a great we're, country, we, great we province. I mean, we're more fortunate than, than most. I mean, there's really no, but at the same time, I think we just need to get the hell out of here for a bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I like your idea of a beach. It's got to be something. I don't want to do much. I just want to veg. It's interesting that nobody said Vegas. No desire. Nobody said Vegas. I think, have we yeah. aged out of Vegas? I don't know. But no one said Vegas. Even when I went to Vegas, I hated it. So. Well, I've been I Vegas like 30 that times. I, 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 I could skip sense, Vegas. You used to go for conferences. I used to go for girls trips. But yeah. I mean, I Two, three times a year I was in Vegas for like 15 years. I, I've, I've yeah, Vegas I, out. Yeah. yeah. I've been to Vegas six times, five for Grateful Dead shows, which were amazing. That would have been cool. And, <laughs> and then cool. the sixth time was not, and I will never go back because yeah. the Grateful Dead doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> and, and it was disgusting. It's just, it's, it's really, yeah. I, it, you've either aged out or you've got to like yeah. gambling or yeah. really right. yeah. cheesy, cheesy stuff. I yeah. Think. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's one of those cities. Good for people watching. It's fun, but it gets, I mean, that gets tiring because you just can't. It gets real quick. Yeah, because you just can't yeah. picture that many people that way in one no. spot at one time. Not it's... anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and we're looking for New York again, Taz, because I, I, we love New York. Yeah. I, I oh, love going yeah. to New York. I love I'd like New to York. be able to go to a great restaurant again, sit down with yeah. friends, Yeah. have a great bottle of something. Something. Strong. Yeah. And, uh, have yeah. great conversation face to face, looking yeah. at each other. That would be that'll be fabulous. Without you know, I could see your mouth move. That would be good. Yeah, and yeah. New York is one of those places that I, I just I I just love that city for that. It's just a great city for. Yeah, it's just hopefully, a great city. Hopefully, we get some great restaurants that'll open back up again. Um, I love New York. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. Well, as we talk about here, I don't know how many are going to reopen. That's our that's our challenge. Yeah. Whether the restrictions can go, but I mean, a lot of people, the money is just. No, but, but even it. when we get there, how many will open Don't very know. differently, right? Like, because yeah. there's how a lot, many of us are running out to restaurants? A lot of, restaurants I mean, a few of us, but takeout is actually a really good option for yeah. them. Like, it's it's less real estate, it's less investment. You know, it's a quicker turnaround. They don't need to hire a server. So, I don't know. You know, plus you a might. restaurant that used to hold 100 that now holds 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it loses its ambiance too. It's not, it's yeah. not. It's, I don't know, it's not the same anymore. So do you, do you just, you know what I mean? Like, like no, no. We, we have friends that are restaurant owners and, and they've kind of said like, you know, as soon as we're able to, we're going to, we're going to shrink down, we're going to do takeout and we're done with it. Right. Like, because it's, it's more economical, it's safer, yeah. kind of like future proofed. And then it's too bad. Are Nothing you like a great dinner? Out. Because of the mindset they're in at this moment, yeah. because possibly of what's happening. Possibly. Because when, it, when this does clear out, when 80% are vaccinated or inoculated, yeah. Yeah. then, you know, I know we're just talking about jumping on planes and traveling, yeah. right? I agree. So yeah. along with that, you know, yeah. money, commerce, guys, hello, you're a yeah. podcast. Yeah, about. Commerce starts back up. We want to put money back into- You have to. Our, yeah. our cities and our- Absolutely. Homes. Yeah. So we have to work with each other to grow the local businesses. It's so hundred percent. And yeah, I'll I'll go out and have dinner, even though I'm not the type of person that really, you know, unless it's a great restaurant, I'm not going to waste my time. But I'll go to my local joints and get pizza. Or I think we're going to have to because we're not going to be around. And plus, we have to refund uh, the amount of money that our governments have spent. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's, well, it's got to come from somewhere. My, my government doesn't spend anything. They keep. <laughs> our asses with our with our tax just, dollars here. Just, just come up here. We we're, we we spend. Yeah. I would love to. We light it up, baby. Internship, I'll be in Vancouver in a heartbeat. <laughs> One of my favorite places. Not a bad Thank place you. to be. Pretty amazing. I'll clean houses. I don't give a shit. I'm done. <laughs> Nature. Oh my god, my animals would be thrilled there. I have some That's, friends. Yeah, not a bad place to be. Not a bad right. place to be. I gotta run. I love you guys. 
Thanks for coming on. It was nice seeing Happy you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good, Good luck you. on your on uh, whatever you're going to do too. Like keep us yeah. posted. Keep us posted. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I, I'm not. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Take care. Bye. See you later. Bye. Ciao. Wow, that's been an oh, awesome. That's good, guys. Awesome yeah. yeah. Rich, thanks for coming on. I wasn't expecting you. Yeah. No, nice. I mean, I, I saw it and I was like, I was planning on popping on for a bit. And I was like, because, yeah. uh, you know, I obviously love you guys and I love the, the show and sort of made sure that I wanted to, to put some time aside of sort of wrapping up sort of yeah. year end stuff here yeah. and things and, you know, got quite a bit done in the last uh, couple of days so yeah so it's not nice. a real hectic day uh kenny's got me not worried about sales and and so i've got my head out of sales which is just relax a little bit for, it's all good for 20 uh 21 is i'm a ceo i can't be uh no that's why we pay our, that's why we pay people to do it that's right so uh let them stress out yeah, exactly. So uh, even though I always will, but no, it's good. It's it's really good, and um, yeah, it's nice to to meet you too, Cheryl. Nice to meet you. Uh, well, we're at the end of our two hours. That's Thank it you for coming on. Um, that's it. Happy that's New it. Year to you both. Um, and then I don't know. We'll we'll see you guys in the New Year for sure. We'll see you in the New Year. Uh, absolutely. If we don't yeah. see you before. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's true yeah. too. Yes, right. it is true too. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for putting this on. Yeah. See you guys later. Thank Sounds you. Good. Take days, bud. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Bye, okay. everyone. Bye, Sherry. Have a happy New Year. Thanks for coming on. Happy New Year. Thanks Thank so you. much. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Well, Mr. Phil, I'm on hour six of headphones and Zoom. Oh no, yeah. Go. And I've got, I've got to know, I've got to, I've, I'm just uh, 10 minutes just getting off Zoom now. Yeah. Gotta go on to another that one. That was amazing. Look at all those people that came on. No, that was, that was kind of cool. People I haven't seen in a while later. I like that. That was, that's neat, right? It's kind yeah, of cool. Plus, cool. I might pick a few new podcasts. I think Timmy will be a good one too. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, and obviously there's questions. I mean, you know, I wouldn't even mind doing another one um, on, um, picking a coach picking a business coach life coach whatever because i do think i think there's a well i mean tim's will be something like that something like but there's a lot of stuff in that there's a lot of people that um you know the 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 sort of mentoring and team mentoring is not necessarily the worst thing in the world for sure they're two different concepts too right the one's a team one's more of an individual but i think it's i think it's cool yeah i think i think it's something i think more and more people need that stuff as well right i do too yeah, yeah. I, I think agree. It's cool. I think it's kind of cool. I agree. Awesome, dude. That's it. Thank you. Okay, my friend. Thank you very much. That's, mm -hmm. I was always for organizing everything and doing all the tech work and all the, actually oh. just doing all the work. I just basically still just show up. Buddy. Hey, I'm good at it, man. I can show up. I can I can do the show up thing like that. You're right, fooling team. around. This, this thing doesn't work without both of us. Ah, it's all good, buddy. It's yeah. all good, buddy. Way. Yeah. Um, happy New Year to yeah. you. Happy New Year to you too. And uh, Kathy and the family. And uh Ooh. Yeah, I yeah. guess we'll chat next Thursday. Yeah, how's uh? So how's your daughter? Never, I ever fine. Finished. She's fine now. Nothing. Okay. She never had any symptoms. Okay. Okay. Seriously, it was, it was nothing. I mean, she's at that age, right? Yeah, she's young. Which again is probably some of the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because you know, because Cardi does worry about her her grandparents and stuff, but at that age, when you get it and nothing happens, it's hard to. Yeah. Get your next set of friends to to be concerned because the first question, well, what did you know? Nothing happened. Well, yeah. And, and they all, and then it just doesn't seem to slow down, right? Yeah, I, that's I, the age group. I have a twenty I have to thirty. A, a friend that I grew up with in university. He and his wife got it, and uh, she's she's on. Uh, it scared the bejesus out of us, right? Because she's still critical day to day. She's seriously. Uh, she's finally not COVID positive anymore, but she has been in hospital two i want to say two months now jesus he's on what uh they call an ecmo unit which is uh the unit that that um, pulls the blood out of your bloodstream aerates it with oxygen and then pumps it back into a major artery and uh she's literally critical day to day still that's brutal you know and and that machine <clears throat> there's one in ontario it supports 40 people in one go and we have 14 million people in ontario 
So that's the thing, right? Like that's the thing that like, if you don't know someone who's been on it, can I go, what's the big deal? Right? Like our, our nephew is 25. He like cracked it, practically grew up, grew up with us. And he's like, oh, can we come over for new year? And we're like, no, no. now we know somebody who's been through this. We're, yeah, we're not no. doing it. Like, so Absolutely sorry, not. We're, we're staying here and nobody's coming. Right. Like it's, uh, you know, but, but you know, unreal. unless you've been through that, how do you know? Right. So that, well, that's just it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. anyway, it's crazy. Um, happy new year to you. Happy new year to you too. Let's hope for a much better 2021. Yeah. And, um, do we have a guest for next week? No, not yeah. yet. Yeah. we'll work on that too yeah we'll see wh who we can land so sorry that or we'll just catch up yeah 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 either or is good you know it's us sounds good all right take care okay, buddy. take care buddy ciao, ciao.